make sure you are praying insist insist lord my story must change you must address this issue of concern that anointing must come upon my life today i must encounter fire for real that yoke of bondage must fall away from my destiny that captivity over my family must die tonight that devil oppressing my family must return to hell today pray something about listen listen please look up let me tell you something about insisting in the spirit you will never get anything in the spirit if you treat it with laxity are you getting my point now the bible says right from the days of john the baptist the kingdom suffers violence he said the violent it takes a level of aggression when i want things in the spirit i press for them with every sense of seriousness and focus the problem is that some of us want certain things but we're we are embarrassed to be desperate about it forget about it. if you really want something in the spirit you must cry out you must mean it one more time say father tonight is my night lift your voice and pray lord i appreciate other testimonies but you must open the gate of my destiny tonight Make sure you are praying. You are amazing, the Lord. 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 Oh 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 hallelujah 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 when kaduna this morning please listen and i had a very serious vision and i want to share it with us i tell you the truth an unusual anointing has come upon this house not not just today it's a new season that has opened those who have the eyes to see and the ears to hear can tap into it in this vision i was we were traveling out of the country just like we travel with other people please listen and our passports did not have visas on them yet 
and so we're entering what was looking like both an airport and an immigration office this was in the vision and as soon as we entered i was even concerned for other called me and then stamped the visa nothing when she stamped the visa then she stamped the visa for the other people too and you know was encouraging us and the woman looked at me and was smiling and she said any time go out just call me and i will stamp their visas listen listen she said do you have any other people who want to go out i told her i said in that's in the vision i said i said i said when they come i can't remember her name but she said and they should just come straight to her listen a passport is the only authorization to move to another boundary if this was not just about traveling out at all it's a mystery i knew that this was consistent with what god a passport is a token in the spirit it's a sign it's a symbol of your borders being expanded because without a passport you are not authorized to move to another territory Jabez prayed and said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. Something will fall upon your life tonight. Listen, listen. Something will fall upon your life tonight and it will give you unusual access to strange dimensions, strange territories, strange levels levels of influence even physical territories some of you your ministries will stretch from one border one dimension businesses and and all kinds of endeavors there are families that are here there are territories god is sending you to all of a sudden the money to build the house in another territory comes by the spirit of god there is a passport you come with the passport and he stamps the visa. There is no man who is denied access to go to another country when there is a visa. And I saw it. When I got out of the vision, I was amazed. I kept thinking about that thing. I couldn't sleep again till morning. I had to take out time and pray it into my own life. And say, that's right. You are amazing, then. You are amazing. You are amazing. Hey. You are amazing. Nobody lives like you. Nobody blesses like you. Nobody heals like you. You are amazing. Oh, oh, oh. tonight but before i teach i want us to pray this vision that i saw listen not just for koinonia i like you to lift your voice and blast in the spirit and say that authorization no boundary will stop me it's not a vision for me it's a vision for all of us lift your voice and pray no limitations access access shaka patata Access to unusual graces, access to unusual dimensions, access to unusual power, access to unusual lifting, access to unusual mysteries, access to unusual illumination, access to unusual prosperity. Access to unusual grace, access to unusual influence. Are you praying tonight? Are you praying Access to unusual honor. Access to 
borders of influence territories Hallelujah. Please be seated if you can. You are amazing. See, I'm going to teach us briefly now. But as I teach, there will be all kinds of impartations going on. Listen. Listen. Tonight is, is a night of strong deliverance and impartation. As you sit under this anointing, no matter how far you are, inside and outside, many things will begin to happen to you. Because there is a shift that must happen to you. There is, there is a change, a translation that must happen to you. tonight's encounter is a fire encounter many of you will burn physically from beginning to the end of this service that's the language of deliverance fire it will happen to many of you as i teach literal physical fire that's the language tonight. Burning every chaff is fire that makes ice to become water. Is fire that makes water to become vapor. It takes fire for you to live where you are. Please be seated if you can. Mighty things are already happening. James chapter 2. You are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. Nobody heals like you. Nobody lifts like you. You are amazing. James chapter 2. Especially welcome all our guests who have come from different places. You will never go back the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. God did not bring you here to waste your time. By the grace of God, we're a very serious ministry. You will never come here and find your time wasted. If you want to joke and jump around and waste time, this is not the place. There is an urgency. The fire here will never let your destiny remain the same. James chapter 2. Let's read this from verse. Just one verse and I'll establish a few things that the Lord put in my spirit. And then we'll pray. Last week the Lord told me tonight to be a night of deliverance. Great deliverance. 26. James 2 verse 26. Very interesting scripture. I want to use it to establish a few things. I've shared it here before, but I just want us to pay attention. It says, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Apostle James was teaching the church something. Please listen. He was teaching the church how that faith would require corresponding action for it to work and produce results right and so he began to teach that faith is spiritual but it's the action the action is compared to a body and the faith is compared to a spirit and while he began to teach us that mystery he veered off in an attempt to use a simile to help us understand he opened up a revelation to us and he said just as the body without spirit right that the body without a spirit component is dead that means if you ever see anybody 
living, it is because there is a spirit. Are we together now? It is the presence of a spirit in a body that makes that body living. The body, this body is only a container. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, don't be deceived because you have worn this body in a long time. That's why you don't say you are an eye. You say you have eyes. Your spirit has an eye that it uses to see. Is that not true? You don't see with your eyes. You see through your eyes. And so, the Bible is saying the spirit without a body is dead. Right? Let me use this boy. Come, come, come. Yes, let me use you. Let's clap for him. It's my name's sake. It's our school of ministry, baby. Now, watch this. As handsome and visionary as this boy is, extract the spirit out of him. And in one minute, this body will fall down lifeless. And you will, you will run away from it. The same body I'm hugging right now. Nobody goes to the mortuary to hug a body. You once kissed that body that was on a mortuary. Is that true? The only reason why you were attracted to it was because there was a spirit. When you saw a beautiful lady as a gentleman, you liked her. You thought you just liked the body. Let her die and let's see where the love goes to all of a sudden. Are you understanding what I'm saying now? That means anything you see in the physical whether a human body or any real matter it is useless until there is a spirit component to it are you getting what i'm saying the life giving factor to any material thing is the spirit dimension are you getting what i'm saying now watch this if this boy sleeps in the night and all of a sudden he gets up and his hand can no longer walk this disability is a body there is a spirit that made it happen are you getting what i'm saying now biology may give us an intelligent explanation medicine but is saying this hand refused to work because a spirit made it so the same way a spirit can give a body life a spirit can kill a body the body executes the will of the spirit that is at work or influencing it I told you that the body is only an instrument of execution. Don't forget this. If your spirit wants to move from here to here, it makes your body to move it. So it looks like you are moving, but it is your spirit man that is moving. That's the reason why when you extract the spirit, this body can no longer move. It can't talk. It can't breathe still has a heart still has lungs still have, has liver but it cannot pump look at a chicken you see a chicken running around pick it up cut the neck in five minutes the same body is lying there you didn't remove anything you just extracted the spirit component in that chicken and all of a sudden it becomes lifeless are we together now watch this for every physical manifestation there is a spiritual initiation for every physical manifestation good or bad there is a spiritual the body cannot initiate anything the body cannot initiate success the body cannot initiate failure the body only becomes an instrument of execution listen if you learn this you will be delivered tonight that this body is only a slave to the most dominant spirit that influences it. This is the first revelation the apostle is giving us. That a body, you see what you see physically right now? To you, you think this is a ministry. But in the realm of the spirit, there is a spiritual component that makes this happen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you see someone healed, or blessed or changed is is beyond what your eyes is seeing there is a spirit component that initiates that when a man gets up and tries to build a house and all he has is cement and that man is ready for frustration until he can bring the spirit component that will make that material project to work are you getting what i'm saying now 
anybody without a spirit will die a business without a spirit must die are you getting what i'm saying now a job without a spirit must die witches and wizards know this only believers do not know it there is no man no unbeliever no witch no no traditionalist will go and do anything physical without due consultation to the realm of the spirit because they understand that the physical is only an execution this is what david knew so when he saw goliath roaring i said forget about this guy this is a body without a spirit are you getting the point goliath was roaring and other people were crying and he said uh -uh, this is those who know will not be scared at all that roar and he said goliath i'm going to defeat you and goliath said am i a dog at least respect me you come to me with sling and david was trying to tell him mr man do you not know that the size of my body or my instrument is inconsequential for as long as there is a spirit backing and he says who is this uncircumcised circumcision is your key to attracting partnership from the realm of the spirit we are dealt with that right and I told you that your circumcision in the New Testament is your tithe. When Joshua circumcised the nation of Israel, at once an angel appeared to him. And he came to give him strategy. He said, I am, I've come as a captain. In other words, he was also fighting. He was a warrior. But he was doing it spiritually. How many pastors are trying to do ministry without the spirit component? speaking english without the spirit component how many people want breakthrough want revivals no the body without the spirit is dead the second thing i want you to know is that the bible shows us that more than one spirit can influence a body that means a body can be a slave to the influences of more than one spirit for instance your human spirit and the holy spirit although they become one at new birth but it's only an example that this body that is a slave a mechanism for execution of the will of the spirit can be under multiple influences please listen to me we see that again and again in the bible we see peter being influenced by the spirit of god and being influenced by a demon spirit one moment the body is speaking thou art christ the son of the living god another moment jesus is rebuking from peter get thee behind me and he says satan, uh, peter satan has desired to sift you is that not true the bible tells us that when judas ate with jesus satan entered him so it was not just judas that got up and went out listen listen there is no man no man who does anything under the sun by pure bodily initiation it's not true it doesn't exist the body cannot initiate anything it only executes every initiation of anything comes from the realm of the spirit whether your human spirit the holy spirit a demon spirit That means the key to bondage and the key to liberty is not locked up in the physical it's locked up in the spirit since the body is an inevitable slave to whatever spirit watch this as I'm talking to you right now you are seeing a body moving and talking is that not true but you see this body but don't mind this suit on it it's just to 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 look decent it's just for leadership and organization that's why we put a cloth for this body but the real person talking is the spirit man this body is only executing it are you getting me now and so if my body submits through my human spirit to the holy spirit because the human spirit is the vehicle for submission so the holy spirit in partnership with my human spirit can find expression if god wants to touch ken 
he now flows through my body and i speak it god is touching ken and i authorize the holy spirit through my body are you getting what i'm saying now and then he touches ken now watch this it is easy to know what spirit is influencing a man by what kind of physical activities have been executed are you getting what i'm saying now you get my teaching when you have a father who gets up and carries bottle no the body is only responding to a spirit the man thinks he's angry but there is a spirit that made him carry that bottle when he wipes your head with that bottle and breaks it and then he turns back and regrets he only executed the will of his spirit are you getting what i'm saying now when somebody sees a biro that is not his own or money that is not your own and you hide and you steal it no you did not steal you were made to steal a spirit influenced your body are you getting what i'm saying now when a lady gets up and cannot see a man and sit down in one place only following men all around don't just say this lady is a bad girl you are a stupid girl no her body is helplessly under the influence of a spirit flogging her is a waste of time because as soon as while you are flogging her the spirit jumps out have you seen armed robbers when they are about to shoot them you see all of them stand like this as if they were not the ones that stole the spirits are hanging around in that firing squad waiting for the next victim they will land on and part of the onlookers who are looking with great pity the spirit lands on one of them and he goes home only to begin to execute something he does not understand are you getting the point now yes it is a spirit that will influence you into saying yes to a man who you know is a married man with his wife and he says i love you i love you you didn't even know when you said yes to you you thought you were just in love no you are a slave to a spirit that is leading you to perdition are you getting me human beings are not free until we ascertain that the only influence over their life is the holy spirit that becomes the key to walking in righteousness that becomes the key to walking based on the word of god because the holy spirit comes as a witness to the word how many parents how many families are under yokes of bondage and will only execute so you enter an exam hall the same spirit that can make you of quick intelligence now another spirit makes you blank out you know you read you know you did all you did i went to minister somewhere and um i heard a very touch touching testimony of a gentleman very intelligent and they called him you know for an interview a job interview and when he went there the panelists were happy they looked at his cv and they said yes can you tell us your name talk to us about yourself and why you think we should give you this job that gentleman stood there and he could not remember his name this is somebody who went to school no it's not that he could not remember his name the body a spirit shot the flow are you getting what i'm saying now you are yahweh you are seated on the throne me marama he marama seated on the throne so when you see somebody well behaved no he's not well behaved his spirit has submitted to the holy spirit and the body is finding expression listen you can never call an unbeliever well behaved you are joking no the spirit to trouble him is just on retreat let it come 
and you will watch that body helplessly under the influence are you getting what i'm saying now watch this the same way a spirit can make a body fail that's how the spirit can make any other physical thing fail a spirit can come upon a building project and make it fail are you together does a spirit can come upon a man's cv and that cv becomes the body that that spirit is wearing and that cv starts executing what the spirit looks like and anywhere you take that cv to it cannot give you a job it's not because the cv is not good there is an influence that is producing that failure a spirit can come upon the marital destiny of a lady she may be born again tongue talking but the spirit can also influence dimensions of our lives so that you will see a lady who loves god very beautiful lady loves god but the moment a man looks at her and loves her that spirit creates an impression a bad impression listen there are spirits upon ministries many of them may never listen and humble themselves to learn and grow there are spirits that come upon ministries whoever hears about that ministry will misunderstand it have you seen ministries like that consistently being misunderstood is a spirit bishop oyedeko shared with us how that this thing i mean this was a great man of god the church in kaduna was not growing people will come the next thing they will run away they were carrying all kinds of stories and then they were fasting with the brethren and the lord told him come out and he came out and he looked and he saw a dark cloud over the church a real church a true church the church of the lord jesus christ with people who are born again and filled with the holy spirit are we following now and he said this is the dark cloud that is stopping people from coming to your church it's making people to misunderstand what you are doing and he commanded that dark cloud and it rolled away and bam leaving faith open till tomorrow we are here tonight to challenge every force are you hearing what i'm saying there are four things that jesus did in his ministry and any man who does not do these four things is not doing ministry like jesus number one jesus preached the gospel to preach means to declare to preach means to proclaim to preach means to announce are we together number two jesus taught don't say i'm not a teacher any man who can understand can teach because teaching is the litmus test to show that you have understood a thing anything you have understood you can teach it if you cannot teach it you have not gotten it so jesus taught number three jesus healed the sick don't forget this don't say i'm not called into the healing ministry jesus healed the sick number four jesus delivered the oppressed he casted out devils please let's be very careful so that in a bid to demonstrate spiritual maturity we do not come to a point where we get up and start um i now i know that i've been criticized already again and again so i want you to listen to me there are all kinds of teachings flying in the body of christ if you know me very well you know that i hate imbalance but it is very important that the scope the entire scope of the message jesus gave the church be preached jesus casted out devils and in mark chapter 16 verse 15 he said this he said this sign shall follow them that believe in my name they shall cast out devils i'm not talking of deliverance that people do all kinds of madness and all of that but for you to ignore the fact that wrong spirits that influence people's lives need to be challenged it's an error are you getting me now it's what the bible calls old wives fables teachings that come and look as a consolation in the church but keep them down and keep them poor these spirits influence our lives 
and produce the outcomes that we see in our lives when you see an ordinary man anointed no it's not just a body that is anointed the body is only a channel are you getting me for the anointing to find expression the anointing is within the anointing is spiritual you came tonight with prayer requests you came tonight with challenges i want you to know there is a spirit behind that challenge every challenge in any man's life is a sign that there are demon spirits standing that's not a sign that you don't have faith it's a sign that you are in the world the bible says the whole world lies in wickedness hallelujah do you believe what i'm teaching you true freedom then does not just become jumping around and shouting i am free when we can obviously see that there is a, a spirit influencing you how many angry pastors do you know they love god they jump around but you do something they can wind their hand and slap you because you see you can claim you are a man of god you can claim you are whatever but it does not stop those spirits from influencing you listen the influence of spirits over a man's life is a contention it takes light and revelation and the anointing for you to stand in a position where the holy spirit is the only spirit that is authorized to find expression in your human spirit and ultimately through your body but there are many people under the influence of many spirits and they will not agree their bodies are helplessly executing masturbation yet they love god their bodies are helplessly executing pornography their bodies are helplessly executing all kinds of things then we try to create messages to say it doesn't matter oh it matters don't let anyone fool you it does it does matter then you lie down in the night to sleep and here comes a gentleman or a gentle lady sleeps with you some of you stand up with bedwetting you stand up with every experience and you just pretend that nothing happened i i pretend i didn't see anything why are you deceiving ah nothing happened i'm okay and you get up and everybody who would have helped you in the day no longer is able to help you and you come back and say no 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 i, I think there's something i'm not claiming look calm down and let the power of god set you free or tell lies and join the crowd of liars with all kinds of struggles in the secret place who will not open up their hearts for true liberty the bible says now the lord is that spirit he said and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty i was preaching i was in ministry yet demons were oppressing me shamelessly my own was so bad i will see them physically lie down to sleep and here they come marching gallantly into my room and oppress me they could oppress me so much i can hear people talking in the physical right a lady gets up and has an issue of blood one month two months three months losing blood losing your life no forget about the physical losing of the blood there is a spirit that losing of the blood is is a type of the manifestation of a spirit somewhere you get up a very healthy lady and all of a sudden you find out that there's lump in your breast and you just laugh and say it happens um when you eat in in restaurants too much when you eat fried food lump will come out look at look at the explanation that you are convinced and, and the spirits are saying i like this generation i like the way science is hiding us from them. a man goes to bed healthy and wakes up in the morning and one leg cannot lift again i think the protocol department were there when one small boy did something during counseling i think the last time we had counseling one woman that we prayed for during one of the miracle services so they came for counseling when they came for counseling i looked at the boy the mother was so slim and they were saying that the boy was in occult and all of that and i looked at the boy 
And I said, are you in Okol? The boy said, yes. I said, who tied your mother? He said, me. I said, why now? He said, they asked him to do it. I said, go on, loser. Who was there? You were there, Lawrence. I mean, this guy saw wonders that will not end. The boy just went, sat down on the ground, carried my mom's legs, and started doing it like this. Then later, he would say, remain small. He's about to finish. When the boy finished, he got up. Now, you would have, you would have seen that and said, this small boy, but this boy is only a slave to a spirit. When a child of five years old will not let the mother rest, that coconut head is not the physical head. There is a, there is a spirit that makes that head strong and stubborn. Are we together now? Slapping the child in anger is only wasting your time. There is a spirit that can influence your life and bad luck follows you you become a magnet you never magnetize anything good if car is to jam people you are the one it will jam if police is to gather some people are suspects it's just when they are catching people you just come in they say follow them you say no 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 i attend koinonia they say go ahead, explain in the police station now you may laugh about it you may laugh about it every bad thing happens to you everyone laughs in the class but the lecturer will ask you to stand up and say why did you laugh as if you are the only person and you were at the back listen that lecturer himself may be a victim to a spirit is joining your heads together and so by coming to his office you now say you i, I don't you smile what is your name now you are entered another level of, of trouble humans victim to spirits that's what is happening in the earth i feel very sad when i see people they get up and they get up in the morning and they do not know listen they do not know that your body is only an instrument of execution there is a spirit that is driving you when you see favor coming to a man no there is a spirit that makes it happen there is an operation there is an anointing are you getting me now you can just be sitting down and then god will speak to you carry ten thousand naira and give a marker why didn't god say somebody should give to you there is something it's not just that okay god has pity no 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 if you understand this you will know how easy it is to walk in victory you don't focus on this physical body you focus on what spirit and what atmosphere influences it because that's what determines the possibilities there are people who almost never pay for anything when you are going to buy something that's when somebody comes and says do you know i was thinking about you this morning and you tell the person i'm not surprised because the activity of the holy spirit manifesting as different things favor the blessing whatever it is orchestrate events together for you are you getting what i'm saying now as a pastor the day the anointing is strong upon your life that's the day everybody who can help you will not come for the program you stand and preach your life out and everybody say kai we have seen what what god is doing through you and uh, as a family we really appreciate uh, by god's grace next convention will not forget you i assure you and you stand up and go but someone else the day he's coming somebody is about to travel and mysteriously his car may spoil and he'll say let me attend this program and he comes and says god has been asking me to sow into a man this preacher is that man you think it just happens The only thing that grows in a farm without being planted is called what? Everything of worth is planted. Are you getting what I'm saying? Favor does not just come. A ministry does not just grow. Anointing doesn't just come. Revelation doesn't just come. Honor doesn't just come. A man doesn't just become sick. A man doesn't just become healed. Was it not in your Bible? Listen. Listen. That the trouble around Daniel's life was the spirit of the Medes and the Persians. Is that not true? It was happening physically through human beings. But it was a spirit. 
because he was under the influence of the 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 medis and the persians it was a spirit that made men to serve idols and now a man came called daniel and he was praying and his prayer was judging those spirits and so they could not influence the king and he made the king like daniel are you getting me now and the kings liking daniel made him to subscribe to the god of daniel and those spirits said no we have to find a way of bringing enmity between the king and daniel so one day you get up and somebody comes you you thought a neighbor just entered your house and jammed your head you and your destiny helper and left it's not just that a neighbor came a spirit visited your compound using human vessels jammed the head of two people and left all of you together are you getting what i'm saying now a husband and a wife lovely people romeo and juliet the marriage is going well all of a sudden a spirit lands in that house and then something happens a woman who has been minding her business all of a sudden she looks at a text and doesn't see it properly and she thinks that she saw i love you to another woman she carries it and lands the phone on the man's head only to find out that it was maybe to their daughter or a spiritual daughter or something and now enmity starts and a lot of people sit down and say you see uh, just love yourself just manage like that wait and see the part two of that movie the holy spirit i mean the, the demon spirit will come again into the house something will happen that demon spirit will start making that man to fail in his job are you getting the point now he will return back home with the anger of his job that spirit the same spirit will start making the woman angry and be impatient so her impatience is jamming with his failure in the office what does it produce divorce that's the name at the end of it the apostle and the prophet that should rise from that family no longer has parents and the boy who would have loved church who would have been faithful in church is now forced to follow bad gangs you just thought it was a physical acting the body without a spirit is dead every time you see things around your life not working the way god orchestrated don't sit down and discuss get into the place of prayer immediately there is war happening in the heavenlies there is a clash of spirits they are claiming your body listen do you know that when moses died watch this when michael came to carry the body of moses he found satan too satan wanted to use the body of moses enter it and resurrect as moses are you getting the point now resurrect as moses and start bringing error to people and when he needed the body desperately and michael said no 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 i'm not going to drag with you the lord rebuke you how many people saw your mother in a dream a spirit carried the face of your innocent mother landed it in the dream of her enemy and she got up and said i knew it i knew it joshua selman's mother is a witch this one i saw it the woman came with a knife how many of our mothers and fathers have been called witches and wizards and and this is what many prophets see and because they do not have discernment are you getting the point now they now say i saw who some this and that and that and that is it not in your bible when a a, a diviner invokes the supposed spirit of samuel to prophesy I refuse any other spirit from influencing my life I, I, I don't have time for that I cannot be a victim for the the failure that is orchestrated look at Job one more scripture to prove this to you Job a man who loved God and eschewed evil but the Bible says a meeting happened between spirits in the heavens Job was not there oh. a man just gets up in the morning and they have concluded a meeting about you your children are on the way thunder strikes them you just finished furnishing your house thunder strikes it your cattle die mysteriously 
notice all the deaths that happened there was one one people left to come and testify is that a testimony job i'm the only one who is alive this is what happened and then the meeting was held again and he said let's touch his body ah. so a meeting can happen watch this let's destroy this family and they conclude it you snore your way through the morning wake up and that's the last time you know peace in a long time you are a victim your body is only a victim tonight this is the this is the theme of this miracle service let me tell you when these spirits clear out of the way you will be shocked to see the doors that will open for you all of a sudden you who nobody would call you you will receive a call the last time you spoke with that person was five years he did just call you the holy ghost made it happen because there was a spirit that was stopping that call every time they want to think about you a distraction happens and you remain in that suffering and when you come to us men of god we say it's okay don't worry things will change one day it go better that, 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 no, no 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 that's why i told you you must insist tonight you must insist you are mighty on your throne two things there are three things that give demon spirits access to people and families. I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. Three things. Number one, covenants. 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 You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Oh, sing. Oh, fountains of the deep, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. America as a nation, listen, a man can wear the inner wares of a woman, watch this, and be moving on the street, and that man returns back and blessings keep following him a very stupid man but good things are happening in his life let me tell you why it's because of the covenant of the fathers there were people who signed an agreement and said lord we give this nation to you anyone who comes under the umbrella of this nation is authorized to walk in that blessing and so a woman a man can go for plastic surgery to become a woman and yet come out alive in nigeria you try to even just operate somebody's ear and he would die was it the knife that killed him are the doctor so daft let me tell you what our forefathers left with us ready this is what they left they went to mountains valleys regions listen and all kinds of ancestry we can fake it and pretend listen i'm a new creation person i've read the pauline epistles are you getting what i'm saying i understand the grace of god and the new creation realities very well but i know god and i understand his ways are you following me now please come two people very quickly so that i need to no no sit down pastor for me I promise you can come stand here stand here watch this in my example this guy is a thief this guy is a wrong occupant watch this if this is my handkerchief and ken comes to quickly steal it the moment he hears this my footsteps what will he do he'll run away because he's a what thief but if somebody comes and meets promise and say promise give me 10 naira i will give you this handkerchief and promise gives him 10 naira and he gave him the handkerchief is there a contract there is there a covenant there if he sees me coming will he refuse because you see the realm of the spirit is a legal realm are you getting what i'm saying now so our forefathers went to idols and they said protect our wives 
make the plants bring crops for us in response we will hold festivals every time in response we will donate children to you in response they, it was not their fault they did it because christianity had not come to nigeria now watch this when samuel ajayi crowder and many other christians came they brought the gospel of salvation not the mysteries of the kingdom are you getting me they brought the gospel and we salute them but that was not enough the understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom that would bring liberty was not taught so even they themselves died i traveled to we were in gombe one time gombe state and we we're going to yerima's village to go and greet his family and on our way there there was a rock like a cap and they were telling us a story there that the people used to live there that that rock used to open physically there was an invocation that would be made on it and it would open and people would enter inside the rock and hide during times of war and this is what they said the last person to enter you are the one that is donated to that rock the last person to come out you are also donated to the rock are we together now and that rock has been faithful has been what the same way our forefathers had bumper harvest even where there was no rain mysteriously the crops grew these spirits kept their part of the contract all of a sudden some missionaries just found themselves into the village and they said we brought good news and they died in three days the spirit killed them immediately and said you are joking good news of what and then a few people received it and then when they received it they convinced themselves that because they are born again the territory was now changed i watched a documentary brothers and sisters in fiji island fiji island is an island small island but they love god now something happened there were missionaries who came to that place and they so beat the missionaries and oppressed them before the missionaries died they cursed the land they cursed the land and the people and they died and the people thought it did not matter one by one the fish in the river disappeared mysteriously when hunger hit the people from the government down they said something is wrong and god began to reveal to the church around there that look there are there are apostolic activities that must happen in this land if the territory must be cleansed this is what they did they began to pray and then supernaturally they found the grandchildren of the missionaries listen to me they brought the grandchildren of the missionaries to the city they loved them and the children blessed the land and say we release you from the cause of our fathers it's, it's a documentary in less than one week they saw fish crops started growing fiji island changed at once there are so many families that are seated part of the terms of the contract is that if you don't bow down to that idol you will never build a house you will never marry contract sealed now you came that you are born again and you are moving around 35 37 no marriage the other one too is coming when you meet pastors they say no problem are you not born again just believe marriage is going the ones that get married no children mysteriously you are seeing the same patterns happen because covenants are powerful that was the very same principle jesus used to redeem man covenants covenants are you getting what i'm saying now covenants are powerful until they are broken the spirits the custodian of those covenants are authorized to still begin to execute the terms on the, of the covenant even on the victims please believe what i'm saying i prayed for too many people i've ministered to too many people i'm not telling you stories i'm telling you what i was free from number two ignorance ignorance authorizes demon spirits to buffet people psalm 82 verse 5 Bless you guys thank you they know not neither will they understand 
they grow in darkness confusion ignorance and as a result the earth is out of course but have i not said verse six here god and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes the bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge ignorance ignorance of the mysteries of the kingdom ignorance of the principles of the kingdom ignorance of the keys to true liberty in the spirit number three disobedience personal disobedience deuteronomy when you read i think chapter 28 or so it shall come to pass he says if thou shalt diligently hearken to these things to do and observe all that i command you this day that you shall be exalted above all nations and the blessing shall come upon you and overtake you is tied to your obedience the bible says having the readiness to judge every disobedience when your obedience is perfected when it is complete disobedience authorizes the devil to buffet our lives don't let anybody lie to you that when you disobey God, nothing happens. No. It's not about God doing it. It's about the laws in the spirit. They will not change. They didn't start with the Old Testament. Those laws predate our dispensation. Are we together now? So tonight, I want you to look at your life very carefully especially for those of us who have come have you not seen traces of the influence of darkness in one area or the other that does not mean you are not born again that does not mean you are not serious with god but it's time tonight on behalf of you and your family members to rise up and say no way i come by the blood i come to challenge these things there are many of us who have never received a testimony of any good thing that anybody has done in your life somebody buys a recharge card to give you it disappears physically that's that's the extent to which this thing is working against you have you seen people like that a guy tells a lady i love you car will jam him two hours later just for trying to verbalize that i'm considering marrying you car jams him his friend now comes and says, Tor, since my friend has come, me too, I love you. Something happens. Let me tell you the meaning of that. It puts a stigma on you and your family. Are you getting me now? And they say, these people, there is death. Have you not seen lands that people bought land to build house? Why do you think we dedicate properties? Why do you think we pour oil on land? I know a man who bought a property and went there to stroll in the night and receive the slap. In the, in the in the land true true story because the spirit there does not care whether you paid for it gave him a slap when listen when i was in secondary school we were in a temporal site before they moved us to the pump the permanent site that temporal site used to be a hospital are you getting the point where the place that was like the mortuary was part of the place that was converted to our kitchen i tell you many students had encounters with strange beings you are entering to ease yourself and you will just hear sounds sounds that can give you a headache for a long time i remember our school getting ultimate power so that we we'll watch as their own strategy to deliver us from this this nonsense many students were initiated into occultism because of that but tonight we come in the name of the lord the captain of the army that this situation in your life must end i sat back there fighting tears when all the people were sharing their testimonies a testimony is simply what happens when the holy spirit becomes the only influence in a man's life any other spirit must create problems tonight daddy mommy sisters and brothers there is need to deal with certain things in our lives i saw poverty in my family as if we offended god 
coming from a pastor's family didn't change my family background your name can be solomon you will remain poor until what needs to be addressed That's why I told you tonight will be a night of massive deliverance. Listen, as we begin to pray, many of you who are sick will all of a sudden turn and find out that the sickness has gone. Really, when you understand this, you will know what a miracle is. A miracle is what happens when the spirit that is causing that ailment departs. This is what Jesus did to the woman who was bound. He looked at her in the spirit and he saw that a spirit had tied her for 18 years. And he said, woman, thou art loose loose he didn't say thou art healed he said thou art loose the moment the spirit left he laid hands on her and straightened the physical body and there she went remember that madman at gathering that was an evangelist in a cave tearing himself into pieces the moment the spirit heard that jesus was coming they were waiting for him at the other side hallelujah mighty on your throne mighty on your throne i'll never forget one time i was praying praying seriously i was in the spirit and i had a vision i saw that there is a tree that is close to where i stay and i didn't see that tree again i just saw a great beast like like a like a being the tail was a snake the eyes were big like human head imagine this head now like an eye two of them one here one here and the spirit was looking at me with fierce anger and all he told me is so you think you can bring God's people into prosperity and then it left that was it mighty on your throne mighty on your throne that's the reason why every time Satan wants to destroy you the devil will now cause you to disrespect that person so your mother may be an anointed woman and you will fight and tear and say over my dead body for you to pray with me and satan will say amen let's go and then the oppression starts because your pride and your arrogance will not allow you to go to the person and say help me tonight we are going to cry to the king of kings i don't know if you came for this miracle service especially for those who are family people here you should never go back the same you see the results of people 4.8 five points they have always had that ability even when they were getting one point it's a spirit that makes that happen don't let anyone fool you you are not so daft human beings were created intelligent when you enter an exam hall and you write nonsense and come out with zero and smile and say it's just because i didn't read well is that really true how many of you watch film twice to explain it you sit down and watch a three hour film once and you can come out and recite that film completely with the hair of the actor's wife and that was you didn't read for it yet you spent six months or five months reading for one course and then at the end of it you come and fail it and get nonsense and you keep convincing yourself it's just that i didn't get it it is the reason why you can read a novel of 1000 pages but a lifetime you can't read half of the bible because there is a spirit stopping you if this was a novel some of us would say take this i will bring it for you next week friday and you will exhaust it but from the day you were born the day you were born till today you have not read up to one third of the bible one time you cried and prayed and fasted and started and three days later remember when you carried your devotional and did balance brought forward you started reading from two weeks back as a sign of repentance after you read it you now threw it away because you cannot help yourself in the flesh it takes the anointing of the spirit that's why he sends carpenters that's why he puts miracle services like this so that you can come under the influence of god's power how about genotype issues ss you get up and find out you are ss or as do you know the bible never mentions the issue of ss or as are you aware of that that thing was a technology that was fabricated by satan to stop people from getting married 
you see a beautiful lady who has a prophet in her womb to come and then one spirit just brings one one demonic report called ss and they say sorry we can't join you because you are going to kill your children for that devil is a liar in this place tonight i'm challenging you because when we rise we are going to pray the miracles will start as we pray you've got to be angry with yourself and say no enough is enough enough is enough we are come to mount zion where there is an innumerable company of angels where there is the blood of sprinkling the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than any covenant that speaketh better things than any ordinance the good news is that jesus has paid the price our job is to enforce that victory are you getting my point we enforce that victory by engaging the mysteries of the kingdom that bring for liberty we are going to pray that that power that has tied our destinies down it must let us go same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me yeah. your love that rescued the earth lives in me Sing it two more times with faith in your heart. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Jump up on your feet and sing it one more time. Same power. Conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. One more time with faith in your spirit. Say, power that conquer the grave. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Listen, deliverance therefore is a separation. It's the spiritual process that experientially brings the separation between you and the forces and influences. The spirits that attempt to influence your life. the legal separation brothers and sisters when that happens to you then you will see gates open by themselves when that happens to you you will see realms of favor all these things people pray on you must challenge those spirits you must challenge those spirits on behalf of yourself and your family and god is ready for us tonight i tell you God is ready for us tonight. Lift your voice in one minute and bless him for this word. The body without a spirit is dead. The body without a spirit is dead. Now I realize that there is a spiritual component to the challenges in my life. Lift your voice and thank him for this revelation. Lord, I now realize that there is a spirit component to the failure in my family there is a spirit component to the retrogression in my life there is a spirit component to my lack of admission there is a spirit component to my lack of marriage there is a spirit component to the poverty in my family
Are you praying tonight? Let the dissatisfaction rise from you. Oh, come on, tonight is your night of liberty. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Just the voices, sing it from your heart. Same power. That conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. The power that can challenge any altar, the power that can challenge any force of witchcraft, any generational cause. One more time, sing it. That conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Same power, same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love, your love, same. your love. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice right now and mention everything you know that is a tragic event in your life and challenge it. Say it must stop tonight. Lift your voice. Oh, come on, Koinonia, you should be praying. Mandalatata Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit. Behind failures, challenge the spirit. Behind marital delays, challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit of death from your family. Challenge the spirit of death. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit. He must let you go tonight. He must let you go tonight. Those outside, I hope you are praying. This is your destiny tonight. The spirit, the body without a spirit is dead. Hallelujah. 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 Look up, please. Your failure without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Barrenness without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Are you getting what I'm saying? The key to liberty is to evict the spirit that initiates that thing. For a body without a spirit is dead. Any cause without a spirit backing it is dead. It's null and voice. Any pronouncement, any enchantment without a spirit is dead. Therefore, I want you to lift your voice. And I want you to declare forget about the problems lift your voice and speak as a believer that you are 
to every spirit address it behold i give you power over snakes scorpions pray Oh yes, he must leave you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are spirits that will never allow you to walk in the anointing. They will never let your eyes open to see visions. And even when it opens, they will, they will bring you into error. So that everything you see misleads you into trouble. I'd like you to lift your voice again. Just do what I'm asking you to do. From the realm of the heavens, challenge powers, challenge forces over your finances. Bring <laughs> It must change, it must change, it must change tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. My goodness. It's a strong anointing in this place. Oh, it must let you go tonight. Who says that breakthrough will not come? Who says that marriage will not come? Who says that cancer cannot die? Who says that HIV cannot leave? Maka kapata. Shelleke tariata baba. Lift your hands to the heavens. Embriakata. Late katata. Manto porotoskia, seketetete, emprokotoskariadaba. Lift your hands. My goodness, all I see in this room and outside is fire. That's all I see. Fire. You will see deliverance tonight like you have never seen. This one is the one that will bring your miracle. Listen. As this prayer goes on, miracles will start immediately. Many of you will start getting reports from your body. Many of you will be open to visions. Right now, lift your hands. Hallelujah. My goodness, there is such a heavy unction on me. Is for deliverance tonight. It must give way for you to move forward. At the count of three, hear me. Listen. I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. At the top of your voice. It's a prophetic instruction. As you shout it, fire. Some of you visions, your eyes will be open. In the spirit, you will see covens catching fire. Mata Labata. Father, you told me tonight is a night of deliverance. There are families under bondage. There are businesses under bondage. Enough is enough. Let your fire bring deliverance. 
are you ready now at the count of three may heaven invade this place one two three second gentility i command covens i command altars i command spirits come bring them out Fire! 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 Bring the deliverance tonight! Shaka ba 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 ba! E protos tete! Shake it tete tete tete! Reke tete 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 Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The Holy Ghost is showing me a vision. We are going to shout it again. Please don't do it here. I see many people vomiting poison. Physical poison. As you shout, physically, it will come out. Lift your voice. Bata, bata. Shaka, ta, ta, ta. Mare, tende, tepa. Father, anything that has been planted in the body of anyone right now, as you shout, Jesus, we are victim. One, two, three. It must let you go. It must let you go. You are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives. My goodness fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the Lord is giving me a word right now there are ladies here there is a spirit that comes to you in the night to oppress you to sleep with you right now lord where are they let that fire let that fire bring deliverance right now right now right now right now every spirit husband every manifestation every spirit wife every devil that has leads to you it leaves you now now right now He must leave you now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. You see physical snakes. Where is that lady? Physically, physically. It appears to you. Physically. The lady is right here. Please come out. I don't know who that lady is. Physical snake. It appears to you. You see it. Ala barata toko to barada ba, shenderete ketele bosba, raka baroto supati na malada. Let me tell you something. After this miracle service, you will see advancement in your life in a way that will surprise you. That's when you will know that Satan is not as powerful as he looks. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and pray. Any covenant that ties me to anything of the fathers, I've been called out of every tribe, every tongue. I am a, I'm a new creation, no longer connected to ancestry. Lift your voice and pray. Every altar that connects me to my fathers, Every witchcraft that attempts to connect me. No, I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. Shop 
We pray for the sick, but there are miracles happening right now. When I call your, your case, just check it and come out here right now. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lady, please check it. There's like a growth right here at the side of your breast. Check it right now. You'll find out that it's gone. Check it right now. Right now. And make your way to the front. I see someone having severe pain. Your tie. Right under here, your tie. There is severe pain. Severe pain. The Lord is healing that person right now. Please check yourself and make your way to the front. Right now. Check yourself. Make your way to the front. I'm seeing two ladies. You came here with heaviness. There is heaviness on your chest. It's just like something heavy. God is healing people. Can you appreciate Jesus? Hallelujah. There are miracles happening. Make your way to the front now. We'll give you room to testify. Stand here. All the people that are coming out for miracles, just stand here. Right now, there are miracles that are happening. I see someone like your nose. It's like there is an irritation in your nose. While we were praying, you felt like there was fire on it. And now it's lifted. Now it's lifted completely. It's gone right now. Right now. Right now. I'm seeing someone. Severe peptic ulcer. It hooks you hooks you very seriously as we started praying it just disappeared who is that make your way to the front right now right now right now i see a lady you hear a voice telling you you will die not a vision a physical voice physical voice it tells you you will die a physical voice physical voice it speaks to you physically can you help me all the please if i don't call anybody's case i'm going to pray for the sick i'm calling miracles cases that have happened help me um aaron would you help me just examine these people and then we'll take a few testimonies god is giving people miracles miracles right now miracles right now miracles are happening right now i'm seeing somebody listen there is a growth you came here with the growth at the back of your neck check it now it has disappeared check it now now and make your way to the front put your hand there and check it you will find out that that growth is gone completely i'm seeing two holes two holes of a left teeth being healed right now check it you won't find the hole again two holes two holes of your teeth check it right now and make your way to the front my goodness god is doing miracles in this place there are miracles that are happening miracles that are happening i saw this same case in kaduna this morning now i'm seeing four people four people there is one guy and three ladies you have pile pile for one of the ladies when you go to ease yourself it's as if you are giving birth blood comes out go and check yourself now you find out that that pile is gone gone back to the devil go and check it please please we're not playing games don't sit back confirm your miracle and seal it i know there is a guy i saw a guy pile severe pile hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady tears just start coming out of your eyes without any you are not crying but it just starts coming out it's very embarrassing it starts coming out right now the lord is healing you wherever you are confirm it and make your way to the front right now confirm it and make your, your way to the front right now right now confirm it and make your way to the front we'll give all of them room to testify god is healing people right now i'm seeing someone with this finger look at me this finger this very finger that's what the lord is showing me there is a miracle happening on that finger this very one i don't know if it broke or something happened to it but there is a miracle happening to that finger right now right now i'm hearing a name gabriel gabriel 
Gabriel. Who is Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel. The Lord is bringing a, a miracle for Gabriel. Gabriel. I've been fighting this name, but let me bring it out. I'm hearing a name, Asabe. I don't know if it's a woman or somebody in a family. Asabe. Asabe, I'm hearing that name. Who is Asabe? Please confirm. Make sure you confirm it. Let's not. Huh? You are Asabe? Uh, but I'm seeing another person again. No. Eh? This, you are Asabe. Please stand here. Miracles everywhere. Come, tell us. Very quickly, come, come. Please help us. Give Aaron. Let's, let's coordinate them. Okay, come, sir. Let's just listen to this. Give them the mic, Lawrence. Just testify. Tell us. Look at the crowd. Straight to the point. What happened to you? What is the miracle? Praise the Lord. I am the girl whom the man of God prophesied. I have an irritation in my nose since 2012. 2012. Yes. And now what happened? Every day, once I put my hand... I, I always notice blood coming out. But now, I felt something drop out of my nose. That devil leaves you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free. Give Jesus praise. God is doing miracles here. All kinds of miracles are happening in this place. Please, the next people. Let's have them come very quickly. Just turn and let's testify. Don't look at me. Look at the crowd. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I have this bonus. While we are talking, there is a lady... Who will come to... strongly under the anointing outside? Please pick that lady and bring her. As we are talking, the power of God is in fact two ladies, two ladies outside, mightily by the anointing. Please pick them and bring them. Yes, ma'am. Hallelujah. On my left thigh, I have this burning sensation. I don't even know what caused, but I know that once it starts, it burns me as if I'm sitting on fire. Okay. But now it's gone. And since last hearing this voice saying I will die, even when I was coming last week, I had this fear. I was going to... But right now, gone. completely gone. Give Jesus praise. God bless you. Yes, please. Check yourself. If you see a miracle, you can come out. We are going to pray for the sick, but we want to take testimonies. We'll give you an opportunity to tell us what God is doing. Mama, please stand up. Please don't let Mama sit down for God's sake. Give her a chair. Mama should not be kneeling down. Praise the yes, Lord. please. Sometimes I normally feel pains in my chest. Sometimes I normally feel pains in my chest, but now I feel very... Breathe in and out. Bring in and out. Any pain? Any pain? Is there any pain? Is there any pain? Give Jesus praise. Yes, please. Praise God. While he was preaching, I was having peptic ulcer. So peptic I ulcer. Out, but while we started praying, it left me. And There's I'm one more outside. Go and carry her. It left me immediately. Now I'm not feeling it again. No pain again. Give Jesus praise. Yes, ma'am. Lord, I used to have this heavy pain on my chest since 2002. But um, when I went to see the doctor, they said it was pneumonia. It's, sometimes I can't breathe. Pneumonia. The pastor said I should, we should shout Jesus. I can't breathe. I can't shout too much. But the moment I shout Jesus, I fell on the floor. Everything just left you. No pain again. Praise the Let Lord. Let me pray for you. It never returns to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone with an eye problem. I don't know what the eye problem is, but it's living right now. Please confirm yourself. Eye problem. Check it. Check it. We are not playing games. Please check it. Check it. Eye problems. I'm seeing a miracle happening right now. Eye problem. Confirm it and come out right now. I'm seeing this at least 10 people with this case. At least 10, like the lower abdominal region right here. You've been having se severe pain. It's like something pulls you there. Check it right now. You'll find out that you receive a miracle. At least 10 people. Please make your way to the front. At least 10 people. Check it right now. God is doing a miracle. Don't sit back. Inside and outside. Lower abdominal region. Lower abdominal region. That miracle is happening right now. Right now. Right now. At least 10 people. 10 people with that pain. As soon as you check it, make your way to the front. Celebrate Jesus. God is healing them. They are coming. They are coming. All of you, you can come and stand here. The moment you receive a miracle, please stand here. They will confirm you. At least 10 ladies. 
right at this lower abdominal region hallelujah i'm seeing a gentleman you came here with a throat condition in fact um let me just describe to you they are telling you they want to take you somewhere to cut the throat it's like there is an elongation some i'm seeing them saying they want to use is it knife or something and cut something that uh, an elongation who is that person the lord is healing you right now right now you can't swallow things you always feel like it's like bone but it's like there is something on your throat almost perpetually right now check it check it check it completely the power of god is coming upon you there is a lady god is healing your mother but the power of god will come upon you as a witness to that lord where is that lady right now where is that lady identify her oh god by the power of god right now right now right now please bring the lady out god is healing her mother right at home and god is using what is happening as as a point of contact as a point of contact i'm still seeing breast lump disappearing like a lump i'm seeing one on the left left side please check it check it when you receive a miracle testimony is one way to seal it and keep it the lord is showing me three ladies your hair falls every time you go to comb your hair you literally comb your hair and bring out a copious amount of your hair that is removing this thing is a serious thing you have used medication and it has not stopped a miracle is coming to those people right now a miracle is coming to those people yes let's take the testimony quickly please loud and straight to the point Praise the Lord. help us sound please can you help us with this mic i used to have this pen down my stomach here but now i'm not feeling completely okay. gone yes are you sure yes. how long has it been Believe come on koinonia let's not get too used to miracles in this place hallelujah it never returns to you in the name of jesus christ the next person please my goodness look at what god is doing god is giving people miracles go ahead my name is like i'm pregnant it's to come like pain as in i'm pregnant and i've been complaining that for months but today when the prayer was going on i felt relief and my stomach in fact as she was talking hold on the lord opened my eyes there is a lady your stomach is already swelling this is almost is even beginning to embarrass you it's not just like a stomach protruding you are feeling it very hard and stiff um, it's, you are afraid because it's looking like it's a situation of a fibroid please check it right now God is giving you a miracle God is giving you a miracle God bless you, bless you quickly when they say we should shout praise the Lord, so I now shout the stomach used to pay me even before I come to Zaria but I can't feel it again Completely yes. give Jesus praise it never returns again, yes please praise the Lord um, recently I started having this eye pain when I'm walking, doing other things, one of the eyes get blank and I don't see again. But now, after the prayers, I feel one sharp pain and I saw this abdominal pain almost all the time, but it just left me immediately. Give Jesus praise. It never returns to you again in the name of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus Christ. This abdominal pain starts two days ago. So I came here and when I was praying, I just received total deliverance and complete deliverance please help them so that they don't fall on, on praise the lord the abdominal pain normally comes and go and when i was outside i was still feeling my stomach hooking such that i could not stand well i was bending and then when the man of god spoke i got up and stretched and to the glory completely of the lord, no pain again come on give jesus praise give jesus praise the lord mine is more of um creativity ideas that God is to give me every day when I'm in my quiet time and it's it happens that every time I try to push further I realize that there are a lot of setbacks distractions and uh, confusions that comes my way and right now, but what right happened? now when at the mention of the name Jesus I felt my body on fire 
I can't really understand what was going on. On fire, a restoration yes. of that creativity yes, com comes to you yes, in sir. the name of the Lord Jesus amen. Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I came here with a severe eye eating. At a shout of Jesus, everything just wiped out. Believe me, that name works. <laughs> yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I have a medical report from Shika concerning pain in pain. the joint. You went to the hospital. Yeah. What did they say is wrong with you? They, did, they couldn't see the anything. They couldn't see anything. Yeah. Okay. And when you were praying, you prophesied that there is a uh, ten people here that that God is working on yes. their system. Yes. And, and now what has happened to you? The pain is gone. The pain is completely Even gone. Give Jesus praise. Even the medical report is in my room. The medical report is in your room. Yes. You go and check yourself and you find out. All of you that were under the anointing, when you get up, don't just go back to your seat. Check. You will find out that all kinds of things have happened. You are not just falling for nothing. Praise the Lord. Praise the, praise the Lord. I'm trusting God for a new set of dentition. My teeth are just... Go ahead. The power of God is on her. Oh, Father, complete what you have started in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus. Because your faith can receive it, let it have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. After we take this trip, people, and, um, it's okay. Um, there's okay. this pain that I usually used to have by, um, from under my armpit to the left side of my breast. Okay. So when um, you mentioned the case, I was not too sure if I was the one. But later, you specify by saying the, your left side of your breast. I notice like it's swelling up and sometimes I very I feel like very, a swelling there. Yeah. And feel, now, have you checked it? Yes. I, Is there I, anything I there? Okay, Completely gone. Exactly. Come on, give Jesus praise. It never returns again in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the spirit of fear as in I do get scared a lot but I now I'm free in the name the of The spirit of fear. Come. It never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost. You are free from the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. I want, to, I want to thank God for healing me from the lower abdomen. I used to have this pain right from child. When, when, I, was, when I was young, I used to have this pain. But when you were praying and you asked us to shout Jesus, I, I feel relieved. I just Completely. Want to thank God. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my dear. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know. Sometimes second of August, this very month, this is my middle finger. Help her. Fire is landing on people. I started having pain around this region, affecting this finger mostly. I can barely use it, but since he prayed during the miracle session, I got healed. I announced. I I've saw been that shaking, a, baby, I've a been finger. shaking it. I've been shaking it and no I'm pain now. Come on, no give pain. Jesus praise, everybody. Where are the two ladies, Asabe, that I called? I called some two ladies, Asabe. The Lord is changing the story of your family. This Mama is Asabe. Huh? Please, you should not stress Mama. If she's if she's out because she's sick, Mama Kizona Zah make you a dua, please. You people should not stress this old woman. If she should, even when she's coming out, carry her with the chair and just keep her here. We'll pray for her. Please, the Lord is, is wiping the tears in your family. You believe that when a word comes like this, it comes to give you liberty. Hold my hands, Father, in the name of Jesus. I end this oppression in this family right now. It goes forever in the name of Jesus. Who has an elder brother? Who has an elder brother? Yes. Do, you, do you have an elder brother? Yes. What is he doing? He's a carpenter. He's a carpenter. Yes. The person I'm, I'm talking about didn't go to school, though. Is your brother? Yes. Where is he? He's in the village. He's in the village. God is going to lift him. What is this thing that I'm seeing them <laughs> laughing at him and they are saying it? It's not his fault that he didn't go to school. Even you, it's by the grace of God that you are here. It's not like maybe yes. it's that your, your people are sponsoring you and all of that. It's the favor of God. Yes. But God, as a sign, go and tell him, call him after Koinonia. That the Lord said is going to connect him to a rich man. He should be faithful to that man. Amen. That man will bless him. Amen. Father, let there be breakthrough in this family. In the name of Jesus. Asabe, 
Gabriel. Oh, your name is Gabriel. Your name too is Gabriel, sir. Who is Titi Lion? Titi Lion. I'm hearing a name, Titi Lion. Please, let's save time. Our time is gone. Um, we still have to pray for the sick. Titi Lion. I'm hearing the name Titi Lion. Titi Lion. Who is working here, sir? You're, you're working. You're both working. Okay. I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing. The Lord is. Sir, it won't be too long. You are leaving Gusau. We spoke, at least we spoke. That one is no word of knowledge. We, we spoke about it, but it won't be too long. The Lord is lifting you to another place. Go and write it down. This will happen to you. It won't be too long. Write it down. You will come back and testify before them. It's not a disadvantage. It's something that will bless you in no small way. Because you have come with your heart open. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I lay my hands, I pray. Right now. That you bring your word to pass concerning his life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I hear breakthrough for you, sir. This is what I hear. The Lord is saying I should announce breakthrough to you. Father, I hold his hands and I announce breakthrough in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Your mother is sick. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past one year. Bleeding? You, you can see the kind of demonic thing we are talking about here. Huh? Your mother bleeding for one year non-stop. How about that? And you fell under the anointing. No, sir. You, you are just standing to agree yes, for her. Okay, sir. no problem. We have a session for that. But since you came out, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Do you believe God will touch your mother? Where is she? Where is home? Taraba. Taraba State. Yes, sir. You are from Taraba. Yes, sir. Lord, show Mama mercy right now in the name of Jesus Christ. As it touches you, it touches her. Please don't just come out at will. Ah, you are related to her. Your sister is Titi Lion. Yes, sir. Where is she? She's in Kaduna. What's she doing? She's schooling at Kaduna. She's schooling. Okay, let's pray for her. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, what are you doing? You. I'm a student, sir. Where? KPSS. Eh? Knowledge is power. Secondary school. Okay, knowledge is power. Yes, sir. Your sister is where? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Tell her. Is she married? No, sir. Tell her marriage is coming for her. Are you hearing me? You believe it? Because she has been praying about this. Your mother, where's your mother? Your mother has been joining her to pray. Yes, your sir. mother even went to a man of God and they prayed about yes. this thing. Is yes, that sir. true? Your mother went to a man of God to pray. Go and tell her that the Lord is saying marriage comes for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is an awesome God. He raised. Hallelujah. Now, please the time to minister specially to sick people you know the nature of our programs here we will need a lot of time so if you are not sick if you are escorting somebody please just bring the person and go back and once they pray for you don't wait for another prayer one touch is okay some of you when they pray for you you refuse you still stand back please once they pray for you just check yourself and go back praise the lord and then don't keep going back and coming out and saying you are doing this and that. If you came with somebody who is sick, now is the time to bring them out while we are praying. Please arrange them. Now is Mama's time. All, this, all our mothers, they can make their way now. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with the way for them. Clear the way for sick people. Those under the anointing, just, just carry them and keep them gently somewhere.
hallelujah now let's save time while we're praying for the sick all of you begin to submit your prayer request please i permit you to put on your phone if you need to call your loved ones to send you prayer requests call them because what god is doing tonight is unusual call them and tell them there's fire upon this place they should submit their prayer requests ushers please begin to go around those online those who are connecting with us through the internet they can also connect by faith as we trust god for miracles worship team please get set you'll be giving us powerful worship songs we'll just pray for our elderly ones let the lord touch them and then he will give us peace please and please um when we pray for you you clear the way you do mighty things you do glorious things stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother awesome is your name you do mighty you do glorious you do glorious things may god use you to wipe the tears of your parents listen let me tell you any child hear me i'm saying this especially to we young people any child that makes himself an instrument of pain to your mother do you know you bring a curse upon your life when you do that whatever spirit is bringing hardship on our mother and making her children not to succeed the way it should pray for her children in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome, sir. Please sit down. Your dad. Welcome, sir. Once more. Straight, straight to the point. His legs have swollen. Because it's been long I saw him. He doesn't breathe well. And at the same time, he's having problems with mama. None of his children look at him except me. The same problem that mama is having. Like, faithful. It's just similar thing. We are eight. Oh, it's paining you, sir. We are going to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, stretch your hands towards our daddy. Please participate in the service. That's why you came. Hallelujah. No, no, no. Daddy, sit down. Please sit down. sit down. Please, let's stretch our hands. 25 years of witchcraft. This is witchcraft. This is not sickness. 25 years of wickedness and oppression. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be deliverance, oh God. Baba, I'm going to pray for you. Well, we are praying for you now. Jesus Christ is going to touch you. Father, let Baba return with a testimony. I lay my hands in the name of Jesus and I cancel the plague of witchcraft in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, after today, check him and don't cry. Don't cry, eh? Clean your tears. Clean your tears. Baba, they will watch you and they will see the improvement and you will let us know. Since it's not something we can check, you are already walking in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that the power of God will come here right now as I lay my hands upon you, I want you to believe. We all came here because we trust Jesus Christ. And there will be a miracle. Those of you who are sitting down, be connecting to the healing anointing, you are the one who will be doing this. The goal is not for one person to do this. That as you are watching, something will come upon you. Thank you, Jesus. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do my God, awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Your oh God, awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome.
awesome is your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at a very serious situation. Can you flash this, this baby? Look at, can you believe? Listen, can you believe for God's sake that this baby, as beautiful as this child is, the brain is not developing? Look at this. Who told you the brain is not developing? The doctor, and we've done CT scan. You've done CT scan. You have your evidence. They said the brain is not developing. Remember, remember our teaching. A body without a spirit. There must be a spirit that is stopping this brain. How can a baby like this? This is an apostle. This is a prophet. This is a great man. Or what? Male or female? Male. Male. Man of God in the making. And a spirit come. How would you like to have a child? That Do you know what it means for the brain not to develop? That child becomes like an imbecile forever. In the name that is above all names. We lay hands upon this child. We are not only praying that God will heal him. But God will use him. My God, I pray right now. Let the brain begin to develop. We cause the spirit that is responsible for this wickedness. Right now in the name of Jesus. From village, I go election. I will charm from village. Look at this. Mama went for election. They fired something upon her head. Now she's mad. Is she mad? Is she your talk now? Yes. You are mad. No, you are. You are not mad in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. In the name of Jesus. Whoever organized that charm on your head, it returns back to them sevenfold. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, I'm praying for you right now. Every charm, every enchantment, you came to this place tonight. It ends in the name of Jesus. You are her daughter, you are her daughter, in the name of Jesus Christ. Even as it releases your mother, it releases you. Mama, you are free in the name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong? Accident, sir. Accident. Yes, sir. This guy, for a long time, the spirit of death has been following you. Eh? Come. Do you know why the spirit of death is disturbing you? I'm looking at you. Don't feel embarrassed. Eh? 
I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing you smoking something. Eh? Tell me the truth. Don't tell lies. This is what death would have killed you. You are smoking a... Uh, uh, what do they call this thing? Eh? In their hem. You go. Yes, sir. Is that not true? Yes, sir. You are smoking. The devil wants to kill you. This is... Look at, look at this. Look at this. Can you see this? Look at this. Because this is not the first time. Every time I see this guy, I see a whirlwind on his head. You, you know that the devil is after your life. You are now adding a go to it. Jesus came that you'll be saved. Are you getting me? You are ready to give your life to Jesus Christ. Genuinely. Eh? Oh, oh, you are, oh, you are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. You are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. We cancel those relationships right now. Amen. I'm seeing you sitting down with a group of people. Yes. They are smoking and they are giving you to smoke, but you are saying you have repented yes, and they are even laughing at you. Yes, you have to leave them. We cancel that relationship in Jesus' name. The Bible, hear me. Don't say I'm not doing it, but I'm sitting down where others are doing it. The Bible says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on that law doth he meditate day and night. I curse that madness in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for supernatural healing. Look at me. Look at me. Lift your hands. Forget about the wound. Lift it up. Careful. You broke the hand. Oh, it can't lift. Oh, I see. No, no, no. If it can't lift, don't, don't harm yourself. I thought you broke your bone. That's why I was asking you to lift it. Father, let there be a miracle right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. And anybody who smokes it, go in this place. If you know you smoke it, go. Or codeine. Altar. Once I make the altar call. Just run and come and kneel down here. Because tonight is your night of salvation. Please, don't play games with your destiny. Anything you smoke, anything you drink that is outside the jurisdiction of decency. The moment there's time for altar call, please make your way here. We love you. But then the Lord wants to touch you. Let's hurry up because our time is gone. Your name is here. Out.
love upon your feet. I'm going to be praying on the request right now. At the same time, an altar call is called. An altar call will be going. Those who need Jesus Christ, you are here right now, inside and outside. There are some of our brothers who are smokers and ladies. The ones that I spoke to. Now is the time. You can come before the presence of God. Don't feel bad. We're a family. And any other person. There are those who are saying, Lord, I'm tired of the way my life is. I need a new beginning. As we pray, please come and wait here. Join this lady very quickly. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. Please, let's save time. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. God bless you. A new beginning. God is giving you a new beginning. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. You are saying, Lord Jesus, I make up my mind to walk with you. God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, are you celebrating them? God is saving sinners. Keep coming from outside. Please clear the way for them if they are coming. Salvation is a very serious issue. Clear the way for them so that they'll come. Don't let any devil stop you. You are welcome. I know we're out of time. But please make your way to the front right now. Make your way to the front. We love you. No man condemns you. He can give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you here. I don't care what you have done or what you have not done. I want you to know that His Majesty can give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand and say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died and rose again. I'm tired of the way my life is. I surrender everything to you seriously and completely from this night take over my life be my Lord and Savior let your life come upon me I break free from habits from sins and everything that destroys my life from today I'm a child of God I am saved in the name of Jesus, let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you for these ones. Unashamedly, they have come before you. Preserve them by your power. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Just one more prayer and then we'll sit down. Lift your voice inside and outside and say, Father, locate me. Specifically, locate me. One word from the king. And end captivity. You heard the testimonies of many people. Those outside, are you praying? No matter how far you are, do not let your location stop you from receiving that which God has for you. I stand, I stand in all of it. I stand, I stand in all of Only God to all praise is due. I stand in all of you. Lift your hands, lift your voice and worship Him. I stand. Yeah. 
are mighty in this place He is mighty in this place Lift your hands and worship Him This is part of the meeting You are mighty in this place Faithful God Alleluia and sing to your maker. Visit us in a very mighty way. Let the sick be healed. Let the oppressed be delivered. Let people with impossible situations receive a touch from you. That's what we want. That's what we need. Let spiritual lives that are dead come back alive tonight. I pray that everyone will encounter your anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
There's no limit to what God is able to do tonight. Refuse to come back and go back the same. God isn't playing games with us. He brought us to change us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'd like us to walk to three or five people and just hug them, welcome them, and tell them you are in for an experience. Outside, everywhere. idea is God's idea that every territory please listen is God's idea that every territory would have apostolic and prophetic voices that can speak the purposes of God over that territory when a territory lacks true apostolic and prophetic voices, then that territory becomes a victim of controlling powers. Powers that control and manipulate the destinies of people. It is God's idea that at every given point, there be an apostolic and a prophetic center in every place where those who are hurting, those who are grieved, can run to and expect like an altar that is built 
in that city or in that territory an altar that represents the center for kingdom activities an altar that represents a platform where the reality of the Christ life can be experienced and when a territory lacks this provision then the result is sickness, death, deprivation of dignity. It's always God's idea that there should be platforms at least in a territory so that people can run to like a thirsty man running to a dam. And we thank God, we remain grateful as a ministry. I am grateful as a person. That it has pleased God to make this place one of his apostolic and prophetic centers for wiping the tears of people. We make our boast in the Lord and I guarantee you that you will walk out of this place tonight with a new dimension. You are hearing the testimonies of people coming again and again. Let me tell you the truth. And I say this without exaggeration less than one over 20 less than one over 20 of the miracles and the testimonies that happen both in this place and through this ministry are shared right here everything you hear is less than one over 20 lives are changing per second per second so i want you tonight to not just come expecting a regiment. You can almost predict what is next. You have to come with a heart that is hungry. Especially for those of us who have come outside. There are people standing all over. The road is filled up with people. I want you to know that God has not brought you to waste your time. There is an anointing that drew you here. It's not just a desire. No. You are, you are not idiots. It's not just a desire to come and watch. There is a compelling power. It's called anakazo. It's an ability of the spirit that draws a man from where his captivity is to where his solution is. It's an ability of the spirit. God again and again kept revealing to me that it still remains his desire to wipe the tears of men. Men who are willing to open up themselves and to receive. Oftentimes, people come for meetings like this and we are excited to spectate while we see God giving desperate people miracles. You must insist tonight. There is a way a man holds on to the garment of the Lord. He says, Father, I've been coming again and again over this issue. Tonight, I insist. Hallelujah. The presence of God is very unusual in this place. All through, beginning from Monday, I had been sensing, it was, it's, it's been like an incubation in my spirit that God is going to do very definite things in the lives of people. Hallelujah. Not everybody is sick. Are you getting me? But there are people here whose situation is a matter of life and death. I was told about a family that came that they poisoned someone and most likely that person is going to die if he's not healed this night because he's already poisoned. Medically, it's over. But let's watch what God will do tonight. Let's watch if he is as weak as believers have made him look. Himarama. Imarama Imarama You are seated on the throne Simple Imarama Imarama Yeah Away. 
He is my King. Hey, he is my King. He is seated on the throne. He is my King. You are seated on the throne. You are Yahweh, Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are seated on the throne. You are Yahweh. You're seated on the throne. Unto him who sits upon the white horse, it's unto you who sits upon the white horse. You are Yahweh. week for those who are not around last week please please I want you to get the teaching I shared a very powerful mystery I'll recap on it very quickly and then we will pray hallelujah such an anointing in this place I sit ahead on the throne he is Yahweh he is seated on Hallelujah. One of the greatest blessings personally upon my life aside from my love and the revelation of the Holy Spirit to me one of the greatest assets in my life is a comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. Please listen, pay attention. Please give me a moment. The mysteries of the kingdom. I told us last week that a mystery is a secret code of operation. Witchcraft works by mysteries. The kingdom works upon mysteries. Success is not a mistake. Deliverance is not a mistake. Healing is not a mistake. Favor is not a mistake. Breakthrough is not a mistake. All through from Genesis to Revelation, the Bible is full of men who dare to understand the principles of the kingdom. And on the strength of that understanding, they did exploits. And I just want to share one principle that the Lord has been putting upon my heart. Listen, God began with us last week. If you understand this singular principle that I'm teaching you, Many of you, that will be your gift for the miracle service. And you can literally walk out of here and guarantee that you will be a champion. Hallelujah. I began to share with us what I call the dominion mystery of tithing. 
the dominion mystery of tithing. Please pay attention. The dominion mystery of tithing. That there is a relationship between a tenth portion and a man's dominion upon the surface of the earth. Many preachers have taught the controversial subject of tithing and they have taught it only within the circumference of finances. And whilst that is true, there is more to it. There are so many of us here that are stealing from our future and authorizing the powers of darkness to make and keep us victims. But tonight I pray that the light will shine in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis how that when God made the garden of Eden, watch this. The Bible says God put Adam there and he gave him an instruction. He said, of every tree in this garden you may freely eat. I give you access, not ownership. I told you in the kingdom we don't own things. Those who own things are rebels in the kingdom. No man is an owner in the kingdom. Everyone only has access. We are stewards. High blood pressure is because we own things. Stroke and hypertension. When you own things, you worry about them. When you own things, you are concerned about keeping them. God never gives a man ownership. He gives every man access. The prodigal son had access, but he wanted ownership. From the day ownership started in his life, lack started. He became a victim of the very situations that he was head over until he returned back to access. And so the Bible tells us that Adam was given an instruction that in the very garden of Eden, there was a tree. Is that true? And he said of every tree you may eat, but this one is my portion. Leave it to me. The key to your dominion in this garden is not just prayer and fasting. There were no Bible studies in the garden of Eden. There were no apostles, no prophets, no miracle service. Only an instruction that obeying it will guarantee dominion. There were no churches in the garden of Eden. Only the presence of God and a heart willing to obey. And he says, this is the tithe of the garden. Keep this tithe. It is my designated portion. For as long as you honor my instruction and keep this portion, nothing will stop you from having access. Are you getting what I'm saying? Satan knew this. And so when he came and beguiled Eve, he made them to touch of the tithe. The moment man touched of the tithe, that very factor that made creation respond to him was lifted. And at once, everything began to fight him. The very leaves he was supposed to dominate now became his covering. He started running and we see fear. We see lies. We see intimidation because of one instruction. Violating the designated portion. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Then the Bible tells us, watch this. The Bible tells us how that he was sent out of a land of abundance and supply and peace and prosperity and goodness out of Eden to a land of struggle. The earth was caused for his sake. There was no longer dominion over the earth. God never caused man. God caused the earth. And by causing the earth, creation also responded to that. Watch this. I told us last week that there is an ability of God that comes upon a man that makes everything under the sun work in his favor. This is what the Bible calls the blessing. The blessing is a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit that makes everything, including problems, challenges, everything to work for you. When that ability of the Spirit is upon you, no matter what happens in your life, it must work for you. It's a law. Let me tell you what it means to be cursed. To be cursed does not mean that you are carrying just an evil pronouncement. No. A curse is an atmosphere. A curse is like an anointing in a negative sense upon your life that makes creation fight you. Everything fights you. 
opportunities fight you friends fight you a blessing fights you when a man who is cursed stands his atmosphere not only fights him but it fights anybody who wants to help him are you getting the point now so the idea of course is not just about what happens in covenants the earth has been authorized by a divine pronouncement to fight anyone who dishonors the designated portion listen let me tell you something this system we are working in is already cost it's a cost system there is nothing you can do about it your only key is to exempt yourself and there is a law it's an ancient mystery of exemption that exempts you from the inevitable vicissitudes of life a job cannot exempt you an educational qualification cannot exempt you nothing aside from the operation of the laws of the spirit can exempt you now the bible tells us about abraham who was an idol worshiper that came from a land called or of the chaldeans in genesis chapter 12 the bible tells us how that god told abraham come out of your kindred and your father's house to a land that i will show you he began to propose to abraham how that you would bless him and told abraham i will make you the landlord of the earth something will happen upon your life that will make the earth to become your possession and then in chapter 14 when he went to capture lot and bring him back the bible says he met a strange man called melchizedek who was a king of an ancient city of peace called salem the ancient name for jerusalem the hebrew is jerusalem an ancient city of peace a man according to hebrews with no origin no beginning no end no father no mother a man who was operating in the office of the priesthood and the bible says when abraham encountered this priest a transaction happened between two of them please follow me the bible says abraham took the tenth of all and gave unto melchizedek do you believe that he took a tenth of all gave unto melchizedek when he gave a tenth of all to melchizedek melchizedek received it and did what he activated the blessing he said blessed be abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth and at once the earth started walking abimelech wanted to take his wife that is a bad situation is that not true but because of the blessing abimelech released the wife and gave him gifts gave him gifts a man one moment you want to take away his wife another moment you not only become his friend you honor him with gifts there is a mystery that governs this creation do you know what we call bad luck you know what we call misfortune misfortune is not just an issue of witchcraft like ancestry misfortune is the resultant effect of taking from the designated portion there is already an authorization whether there are witches in your family or not that every time you touch god's portion you violate a law the earth starts reacting to it at once are you getting blessed now the destiny of abraham was opened up on account of this portion jacob who was the um son from the lineage of abraham watch this jacob worked for laban is that not true laban cheated jacob right he was about to give him a daughter and he said i will work seven years and then he exchanged rachel with leah and he worked for another seven years then he had been with him six years 20 years of oppression from a man but it still didn't matter because something was upon him and he said all right this is what will happen take your spotted calf i will take calves that are not spotted the bible tells us like begets like and jacob said from the calves that are not spotted if they give birth, we will watch. If the unspotted calf give birth to spotted children, they are my own. And the Bible says he took ordinary stick. It was not an ordinary stick, brothers and sisters. And the calves who come to mate, just looking at a stick, a white cow or a, a, 
a, a, a, a spotless um, animal will now give birth to another animal that is spotted. It is not just creation was working for him. When, so even if you cheated him, something happened. And the cows, or the animal started giving birth. And Laban said, my goodness, what is happening? Leave my presence. That is a man who has honored God with his portion. Today I want to show you a dimension of the dominion mystery of Titan. Watch this. Do you know why many people never walk in kingdom authority? Many churches are barren, producing posters. Now I'm not against that, but I'm saying every week, hand bills, every week running around, scrounging for members, threatening people with causes. Let me tell you why. Because there is a law that they are violating consistently. And God is no respecter of person. The laws of the spirit has equal value in any territory. Equal value. Is God speaking to us tonight? When Moses died, please look up everyone. When Moses died, the Bible tells us how that he told Joshua, he said, Moses, my servant is dead. And now Mo, Ab, uh, Joshua had a responsibility to throw down Jericho. And he was afraid because the Bible tells us that Jericho was a mighty city. Do you know the fence of Jericho? According to scripture, five chariots could stand on the fence. How will you break through that fence? That is a challenge. But he said, I will show you something. Watch this. 5 verse 1 of Joshua Mambro takasida balatabaya Open our eyes oh God and let men and women walk away from their chains forever in the name of Jesus Christ Five verse 1 And it came to pass it will be a fast reading when all the kings of the Amorites who were on the side of Jordan westward and all the kings of the Canaanites who were by the sea heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of the Jordan from before the children of Israel until we were passed over that their hearts melted neither was their spirit in them anymore because of the children of Israel. Now watch this. They were about to challenge Jericho and when the other kings had of the mighty things that God did. The kings tried to decipher. What is it about Israel. That makes them always win battles. What is it that makes them. Whether you have a greater armory than them. Is insignificant. They will throw you down. There was a mystery of dominion they were working with. And God was about to introduce Joshua. Joshua was just a young ruler. Taking over from Moses. And this is what he told him. Let's see the mystery. Let's take chapter 5 verse 2. 5 verse 2. Are you there? Now let's look at it. It says, At that time the Lord said unto Joshua, Do what? He said, Make sharp knives. He's about to teach him how to continue in the steps of Moses. Make sharp knives and circumcise again the children of Israel the second time. Let's continue. 3. And Joshua made sharp knives and circumcised all the children at the heel of the four skins. And then, and this is the reason why he circumcised them. All the people that came out of Egypt were males, even all the men of war. They died in the wilderness after they came out of Egypt. Five. Now all the people that came out were circumcised. But all the people that were born in the wilderness by the way, when they came forth out of Egypt were not circumcised are you seeing that now all those who had been winning and making israel make progress it was because they were circumcised but he said these guys are not circumcised and if you don't circumcise them something dangerous is about to happen to you verse 6 it says for the children of israel walked 40 years in the wilderness and all of that and all of that let's go to verse 7 and their children whom he raised up in their stead, them Joshua circumcised, for they were uncircumcised.
because they had not circumcised them by the way verse 8 watch this and it came to pass when they were done circumcising all the people they abode in their places watch this joshua is afraid of conquering jericho and the walls that are before him and god said no problem heaven wants to come into your affairs but you need to authorize them it says circumcise the people the moment the circumcision finished verse 9 let's see what happened and the lord said to joshua this day i have what rolled away the reproach of egypt my goodness so all the while they were carrying the reproach because they were not circumcised he said the moment a circumcision a separation a cutting away happened he said this day i have rolled away the reproach of egypt from you wherefore the name of the place to this day is called gilgal go to verse 13 let's see something mysterious that happened verse 13 everyone look up and it came to pass listen joshua was by jericho that he lifted up his eyes immediately after circumcision he saw a strange man who came and said i'm ready to partner with you you have invited the realm of the spirit into your affair that man had been there all the while but there was no access he said you need help you can't conquer jericho by your strength the realm of the spirit wants to partner with you but the secret is the circumcision the moment it happened the bible says he lifted up his eyes and he saw a man with a sword and he went to him and said are you for us or against us next verse and he said nay but i come i'm also a warrior but i fight in the spirit the same way you guys are warriors i am also a captain i lead a battalion i help men on earth who invite us to come you are seated on the throne and he said and joshua fell on his face and did worship and he said unto him what saith my lord to his servant next verse watch this and the captain of the lord's host said unto joshua lose thy shoe from off your foot from the place you stand this holy ground and joshua did so next verse now jericho was straightly short watch this let me just save our time are you noticing what is happening here immediately after the circumcision he saw the captain then the captain started revealing to him the strategy this is how you will take jericho otherwise they would have died there because physically speaking jericho was insurmountable now watch this your tight in the spirit is similar to this spiritual circumcision your tight is an authorization for the realm of the spirit to come into your affairs and partner with you this is the reason why even human beings for men men because men are the carriers of the seed men are instructed to be circumcised why not sir? how can a man come from heaven we believe children are the heritage of the lord but you will give birth to a man and he will still go through circumcision are you getting the point now because the moment circumcision happens the realm of the spirit comes come come watch this you are on your own minding your business trying to win the war of life by yourself and god is saying you are doing this thing sensually you are doing this thing carnally you never will be able to do it it says honor me with your tithe and the moment that happens there is already a spiritual arsenal that comes to work with you and that which you have becomes supernatural not just natural not just natural it becomes supernatural the reason why there is a crowd of people inside and outside look at this right to the road right everywhere let me tell you the reason why it is not just because this is a great ministry it is because we have beckoned on the assistance of the supernatural there are some people standing outside who are even shocked that they are here when you see them you imagine 
there is no amount of invitation he would have given them to come but for the realm of the spirit he said i am come as a captain in other words the same way you fight there are spiritual arsenals to wait in you have been trying to fight every battle in your life just by using physical arsenals and the lord is saying the earth is fighting you when you return my designated portion you authorize the realm of the spirit to begin to help you this ministry by the grace of god we are faithful never for any reason and by any means under the sun will we touch god's portion not out of fear but out of revelation my life as a person god is my witness that i honor him and that portion that belongs to him this is why i'm dangerously protected it's not about a man no 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 dangerously protected i share with you a simple but powerful mystery when pastor jakes was sharing and he said they picked somebody from his position and makes him a deputy manager deputy manager with interviews on phone you went to school and you are intelligent is that how it is done let me tell you the blessing breaks the rules for you it breaks the rules for you yes when men say it cannot be done it breaks the rules the problem is that we are too carnal we have intellectualized life life is spiritual say it after me one more time shout it like you believe it life is spiritual all that you see is not all that there is those who are controlling this world are those who have an advantage of the spirit you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne tonight God is asking you are you ready to stop struggling in life let me tell you struggling is a cause if you ever convince yourself that God is the author of your struggle I am telling you now struggling is a cause it's a cause from the pit of hell you will never be able to serve God if all you are doing in your life is looking for money because money is not missing you were never supposed to look for it hallelujah you will never be able to serve God if you allow this mammon the spirit that takes the heart of men away from God to begin to pursue other things trying to look for earthly relevance there are people who want to build a house but they want to build it physically by putting blocks you will die trying to build that house because there is a spiritual dimension to everything give us James chapter 2 verse 26 I hope we'll be able to find it I'm reserving it for next week by the way next week Friday here is going to be a powerful vigil hallelujah yes next week is going to be a vigil it's going to be a time of prayer and worship we're inviting guests from all over now watch this the Lord showed me this mystery and it changed my life I shared it in Abuja I was reserving it to start the teaching next week but your hunger has tempted me to go to that scripture and let's let's touch it a bit paul watch this oh, sorry james the apostle james was teaching on faith and works corresponding action is that true and while he was teaching on faith and works he just veered off and brought a powerful principle in an attempt to explain faith and work he, comp he, he compares it with something he says for as the body without what a spirit now all of you watch this guy the only reason that I can interact with him is because there is a spirit is that true if the spirit leaves this body what happens I will reject the body all of you will reject the body are you getting me and we will have to bury him because it is a body though complete it has no spirit are you getting me now i want you media please keep it there keep it there so that we'll 
I want you to remove the word as and just read just the first line to the comma. Are you ready? One to read. One more time. One more time. For the body without the spirit is dead. It didn't say for the body of man. For any material thing that does not have a spiritual force backing it, it is dead. For any material business without a spirit equivalent is dead. For any church without a spirit agency backing it, it's like a dead body. It says for a body without a spirit. So, the nation of Israel was like a body without a spirit. And he said, Joshua, you will lose. You need the spirit component. And circumcision authorized the spirit. When the realm of the spirit came, they said, let's go. We can take Jericho. And with one shout, this was what David knew. That as big as Goliath was, he was a body without a spirit. The other people were looking from the three-dimensional realm. Ah, Goliath was shouting and David looked at him. He said, I see a body, but there is no covenant, no spirit. What is the force in the spirit backing you? And Goliath said, am I a dog? Even if you fight me, honor me. And David said, you are joking. You don't know who is talking. I'm not alone. I, I, you are an uncircumcised. See the word again. See the word again. You are an uncircumcised. I would have been afraid of you. I would have considered your threat if you were circumcised. Where is the ties that connects you to the realm of the spirit? And he said, I'm circumcised. I may be weak, but there is a government that backs me. When you get this key, my brother, you will run as if Satan does not exist. I promise you. I promise you. This, you can jump around for deliverance. You can hop from everywhere. But the body without a spirit is dead. So your boss in the office knows this. And there is a spirit that backs his chair. You just get up with your, your certificate and sit on that chair and it becomes too hot. Because all in that office is not just a chair. It's a throne. There are spirits back in it. That's why the Bible says they that knew their God. They that have connected with a spiritual advantage. They shall be strong. Shall do exploits. Rise from the realm of being natural. And tap into the supernatural realm. Where the realm of the spirit assists you. And your life will be nothing short of a wonder. How many people, listen, I have given up on trying to do things by my strength. Because I know I'm wasting my time. The body. In the same way, the next time somebody stands and threatens you, that is a body without a spirit. See, no matter what talk people talk, I only consider you if you are connected spiritually. Are you getting what I'm saying? I will deal with you. The body without the spirit is dead. I will make sure you leave this job. The body without the spirit is dead. You only pay attention to a man who has risen beyond the three-dimensional realm because there is an assistance, whether demonic or whatever. Are you getting me? circumcision is that key there are many who continue ah we have a an extent we are going to be touching on the matters of the kingdom next week friday i'll be showing you certain secrets of the kingdom that it will make you almost like a drunk man you will get up and jump and shout tonight all we are doing in this miracle service is by an ancient mystery crying and asking heaven and say lord behold the sick people and already in this place there are more angels the arsenals in the realm of the spirit are more than what you know that's always what happens whenever you see me come to sit down 
I smile around the stage. I would have died of hypertension if I'm responsible for your healing. But we have made arrangement already. We are covered. Oh yes, absolutely. We are covered. Heaven is jealous. Jealous to protect his own. Because God's designated portion. Listen. When you steal your tithe, you have not only destroyed your destiny, you have stolen from your children. Every time you don't tithe, just know that your firstborn is in trouble. If you don't do it again, you are affecting your children. Because he said, I will pour you a blessing, you will not have room. In other words, no matter how greedy you are, your lifetime cannot exhaust it. So when you steal, you have endangered the destiny of your children. God's portion. If anyone ever told you tithing is all about money, that person lied to you or was sincerely wrong. Tithing has nothing to do with money. It's the law of open heavens. Let me surprise you. If your tithe is 10,000 and you carry 1 million and give charity foundation and you don't tithe that 10,000, you are operating under a closed heaven. Don't convince yourself that because you gave 1 million, the heavens is open. It is called due process. I will teach you next week. There is a protocol to spiritual things. Are you getting my point? Tithing is what opens your heavens. And then anything you do under that open heavens will prosper. If you like, carry one billion. Give charity organization. Give for the building of church. If you are not a tither, I guarantee you. The Bible says your heaven shall be brass and your earth iron. All of them are conductors of heat. Get set for heat in your life. When the heaven is open, if, not, if for nothing we know there is ventilation, fresh air, the wind comes. But when your heaven is brass and your earth is iron, many of us here, no matter what prayer happens in this, that's why we took the communion. The devourer is authorized to destroy anyone who is not spiritually circumcised. The devourer is not a demon. The devourer is a principality. Even Jesus Christ acknowledged them. That's why he said he is the head of principalities. It destroys men's lives on legal basis. This earth is too wicked for you to allow chance. No. I pray for people all the time. People with cancers, HIV, tuberculosis, communicable diseases. Imagine if I refuse to be faithful. I would die like a chicken. Because most times I lay hands on people. And there are medical doctors here. They know that some of these things are physically not healthy. But I'm circumcised. My goodness. You invoke my name in a shrine. Both the invoker, the invokee, and the ordinance, it, they will burn to ashes. Ashes. No matter how mad a man is, he doesn't enter fire by mistake. He can cross the road and you say he's a madman. But when he sees fire, he fears off. When heaven backs you, let me tell you, your life becomes a wonder even to you. This ministry is a wonder to everyone. Not just because we are so smart. We are just stupid enough to involve the realm of the spirit. Because by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Oh, sing, oh, fountains of the deep. Cry out, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Oh, spirit of the deep, cry out, God, oh, you are mighty on your throne, mighty on your throne, you are mighty on your throne, you 
You are mighty on your throne. 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 You are mighty in this place. 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 You are mighty in my life. 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 Hallelujah. We are going to pray just two prayer points and then I'll begin to minister. You are mighty in this place. They that are with us are greater, greater, greater. Mantos kalabandigalia. There shall no man be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Prayer point number one. Oh God, by the blood I cry for mercy. Where I've allowed the devourer, I have stolen from my tithe your designated portion. I've allowed the devil deceive me that the tithe is a gimmick by preachers. Now I realize and I ask for your mercy. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside. Lift your voice. Your tithe is your spiritual circumcision. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Ask for fresh grace. Oh. And make a vow that you will never miss out on your tithe again. Make, make a vow. Not by fear. assurance and I pledge the name of the Lord upon this if you take what I've shared tonight 
for many of you this is your secret it's your password to a mysterious level of lifting a level of lifting that will surprise you as much as surprise those who are your spectators God's portion the time his designated portion that makes creation to walk in your favor makes your enemies to walk in your favor mysterious but powerful consistent hallelujah just one more prayer and then we'll trust to see the mighty things that the Lord is going to do I want you to lift your voice in one minute we are going to pray in the next five minutes listen I want you to confront the gates of your destiny and I want you to pray and say you must open up this night lift your voice it's the seventh month the gates of my destiny must open up by the power of the Holy Ghost 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 one more prayer because I see the angels of the Lord already moving let me just add one more prayer listen I want you to pray listen there are giants on every mountain every one of us is holding a prayer request because there is an aspect of your life the devil has refused to let you go but tonight i want you to lift up your voice and prophesy to the heavens and challenge those powers and say i must go tonight lift your voice inside and outside cry I must walk away. That terminal disease must die today. That cancer must die today. That HIV must go today. That barrenness must go today. That stagnation must go today. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Oh, 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 o
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, before I begin ministering, please, can I have that family if they are here? The family that came with the poison person. Are they here? Please, let's save time. If they are here, just signify by wave of hand and then run out here quickly. There's a lot to do tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. While that is happening, I want everybody to follow up on your prayer request. If you are here to write, please one minute so that when we begin to flow, we just move and we don't stop. So you have one minute while you are praying in tongues. Just write your prayer requests very quickly so that when it's time to pass it, you just pass it very fast. Manta la dosa so predisci la coria da balanabas. Make sure you don't keep silent. Write the issues that have threatened you and watch the God of heaven turn them into testimonies. What can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you. So tell me what can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you. tonight and we declare that this atmosphere is completely under the influence of the Holy Spirit and that everybody here within this vicinity comes under the influence of the Spirit. Lord that no one will walk out of this place without a touch of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to begin to minister to us and while I prayed for this in the course of the week, again and again, I kept seeing, please pay attention. Can I have strings, 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 strings? Hallelujah. I kept seeing again and again, spirits, watch this, spirits leeching onto people. This is what I kept seeing. Like a man sitting on a man's shoulder. I saw this over many people. And I said, Lord, what is the meaning of this? And the Lord began to, re to reveal to me that these are the spirits that cause setbacks upon the lives of men and upon the lives of families. And the Lord said, when I come up, he said, the first thing I should do is dislodge those powers. Dislodge those powers. I saw them like a man, like a child who sit down on the shoulder of another, bringing a resistance to your destiny. And I'm about to pray for you right now. There are so many people under the sound of my voice. So many people under the sound of my voice. They must go. Heaven is here to assist us. Lift your hands everyone. Inside and outside. There will be such mighty deliverances outside. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I even see someone 
I'm uh, suffering from severe migraine. But then that migraine you think is just sickness. We are about to make a shout, brothers and sisters. This shout is like the sling of David. It looks ordinary, but there is a circumcision upon it. It's a shout that rises beyond the earth realm. It's a shout that rises beyond the intelligence of men. It's a shout that is like a battle sound to the angelic. It's like a battle sound because your destiny must open up right now. There will be mighty deliverances. Mighty deliverances. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for us. And then at the count of three, we are going to shout that name, Jesus. My goodness. I sense the anointing of the Spirit. Heavy. The power of God will fall upon many of you in a mighty way. And you will see this Spirit. Some of you are already feeling uncomfortable. It's the power of God. Especially many outside. There will be mighty deliverances. Lift your hands now. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of your Son, I pray right now and I sound an alarm in the realm of the Spirit. I decree and I declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost that the fire of the Spirit, oh, restrain not your hand, oh, mighty one. We pray that you arise as a man of war. There are destinies at the mercy of your touch. I pray that by this shout, oh God, there be a visitation. That by this shout, oh God, everyone here under any spirit, help them please. Help them. Bring them out. Everyone here under any influence, as we shout, let fire catch them and visit their foundations. And I command every power that at this shout, you will let God's people go inside and outside. One, two, three, shout that name. I command witchcraft, powers of darkness, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, inside and outside, inside and outside, the fire of God is falling on people, falling on people, I cause witchcraft, I cause witchcraft. I cause witchcraft. I cause witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Malatata. I'm seeing altars on fire. That's what I see in the spirit. Please bring them out. Altars on fire. One more time, we're going to shout. Physically, many of you will feel the fire. Physically, physically, right now in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus! Oh, yes. That's fire. That's fire. That's fire. Of the Holy Ghost. That's fire. them i'm seeing ladies ladies a man comes to you in the night and sleeps with you right now by fire oh god locates them right now right now right now i cause that spirit i cause that spirit ladies ladies a miracle is happening to sisters i cause those spirits i cause those spirits Oh, 
I'm seeing a family in the vision of the Lord. Everyone in that family has been tied down by witchcraft. Lord, where is that person in this place? Inside and outside. Right now as I speak, the power of God comes upon that person. Right now, wherever that person is, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, the power of God comes upon that person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. This is what the Lord is telling me. As we begin to pray, miracles will start happening. Lift your voice and break every chain holding you down. Go ahead. This is what God is telling me. please lift your hands lift your hands i hear my spirit families families god is stepping into families there are altars there are altars over families that are about to be broken as you are standing right now god is going to be visiting your family at that shout again inside and outside make sure you are participating inside and outside we are going to shout that name as you shout the name of jesus families i see altars on fire are you ready now father any family under the yoke of bondage as they shout this name let there be a visitation one two three Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice. And ask him for a visitation again. Something serious is happening in this place. <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands i'm hearing marital spells marital spells please lift your hands listen hear me something mighty is about to happen here the lord is ministering to me that there are people who there are spells 
tying down their marriages whether single or married right now lift your hands as i begin to speak the wind i see like a wind a whirlwind moving across this auditorium oh. it will catch up with some people right now where are they oh god visit them right now in the name of jesus one more time we will shout that day wherever they are one two three jesus I'm hearing a name Dorcas. Dorcas, a miracle is coming. Dorcas, an altar is on fire. And I'm hearing the Lord telling me a miracle. Dorcas. Dorcas. Come and stand here. Hallelujah. Who is Israel? I'm hearing a name Israel. Israel, the Lord is ministering to me. Tonight, he must let you go. Let you go. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is showing me a woman. You are here. You had a miscarriage. There is a woman here who had a miscarriage. It's like you had a child and you lost the baby. And the Lord is telling me, please help them, those under the anointing, so that we don't, this place is not rowdy. Listen, let me tell you something. The anointing of the Spirit does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. The anointing does not make the difference. Without the anointing, we are just making noise here. But by the anointing, and I'm telling you this, no matter where you are, whether you are inside here or outside or right at the back, I want you to connect because God is visiting you. And every one of you must have a touch. Dorcas, where is your mother, my dear? Huh? I'm not busy, Zaria, sir. No, I'm not saying. She's Where is she? Mina, Nigeria. She's in Mina. Yes, we have to pray because the Lord is bringing a mighty breakthrough for your family. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Hold my hands, Father. Change the story of this lady by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, as I hold your hands, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord set you free, Madam. Look at me. Where is your husband? At home. Huh? He's at home. Why didn't he come with you? Because there is a breakthrough that is a portion for him in this meeting. Amen. But I'm going to pray for you. You believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Because this is delay. Yes. I'm seeing delay in your yes, family. Sir. Serious yes, delay. Yes, sir. It's even becoming an issue of argument between you and your husband. Yes, sir. I'm seeing two of you arguing. Yes, sir. But the Lord is saying he is bringing rest to your yes, family. Sir. This Amen, night. Sir. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father, let there be rest. Rest for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are doctors. Where is your mother, my dear? You. She stays in Kaduna. Why? The same way you are crying is how I'm seeing your mother crying in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is ministering to me.
the Lord is saying, why wouldn't she cry when the load is too much on her? Look at me. Like we shared, tell your mother to get back into faithfulness in tithing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And even you, yourself, otherwise you will keep seeing repeated hardship. But hold my hands in the name of Jesus. Lord, bring rest to this lady. Bring rest to her in the name of Jesus Christ. Can, where is the woman that had a miscarriage? There is a woman that had a miscarriage. And the Lord is asking me to minister to her. We may not be able to minister to everybody, but there is, there is someone. Please make sure you don't sit back. The Lord is ministering to me about that person. So that we'll just, we'll just pray for her. Dogara. Dogara. I'm hearing a name, Dogara. Dogara. Who is Dogara? You? Your name is Dogara? Yes, sir. Where's your dad? He's at home. In Kaduna. He's, he's at home. In Kaduna. We have to pray for him. What I'm seeing will never. If they are permitting anything, please and please, maybe carry them out. Of We're well, about to pray, please. Don't worry. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now over and I cause that spirit that wants to bring accident. In the name of Jesus, it will not come to pass. We cancel it right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Madam, I want to pray for you. The way I'm holding your hands, that's the way the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's going to begin to hold your hands and that he will cause you to move forward in your life. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration to your life and he's bringing joy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it be. You are the one with miscarriage. Why did you sit back now? Come, there's nothing embarrassing about it, madam. This is a family. Because I'm seeing another one happening and we must pray for you. Yes, sir. It's happening again. Yes. We have to cancel it. Okay. Huh? Yes, sir. It's not a normal thing that you are having miscarriage. Yes, sir. Because there is a spirit that oppresses you. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. And that's what is responsible for that miscarriage. It's not just about praying, praying and saying, pray for me. Okay, you understand? Yes, it takes the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You will give birth to a baby boy. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that this family will experience your touch. Madam, lay, lay your hands on your stomach. Father, there will not be miscarriage again in the name of Jesus. That's right. I see the spirit. Let her go right now. Right now, release her completely. I set her free. Lord, you showed me a baby boy. Confirm your word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here? Dorcas, your name is Dorcas too. Your name is Dorcas too. Your daughter's name. Just stand and pray for all of you. You are Israel. I'm going to pray for you. Are you a student? Yes, we have to pray because I'm, I'm seeing the devil attacking your academics. Attacking your academics very seriously. So that they will not begin to tell you your scripts are missing. Huh? And then they will implicate you in the malpractice. The Lord is asking me to minister to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that this is broken. You are all Israel's. And I'll pray with you. Let her go right now. I curse you by the God of heaven. Release her right now and let her go. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at this woman but in the realm of the spirit all I'm seeing is a large snake. That's all I'm seeing moving around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where's the usher? Ushers. Lay your hands on this lady. Just what I mean. I curse that spirit. You must release her right now in the name that is above all names there is no hiding place the light of god is against you in the name of jesus christ there is no hiding place for you by the blood of jesus christ you must release this woman is a spirit of death let her go right now in the name of jesus christ father may they experience your touch in the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience your touch. In the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience, I curse that spirit. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your baby's name. In the name 
name of Jesus Christ, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, there is liberty for this boy. There is liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. There is liberty. Hallelujah. Now, all those who were brought out here under the anointing, I want to, I want to speak to them now. Don't worry. Everyone out here, I speak to the spirits that are tormenting you. You know my voice, I represent the Most High. At the count of three, leave them and go. Right now, one, two, go, go, go. Out of the red out. Out of the house. Out now. Never to be told. At your Lord, live your life. Live your destiny. Restoration of virtue. Of grace. I cost that spirit from its foundation. I cost it from the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. All those who are trusting God for jobs, lift your hands. I see a strange anointing on this place. Please don't withhold your hand. Don't withhold your hand. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. Sister, you looking at me. Rejoice. I see an appointment letter given to you. You. This lady looking at me. You. Come. I'm talking to her. You are turning back. You. Come, 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 come. I see an appointment letter given to you. There will be mighty miracles of jobs. Hallelujah, come. This is the person I'm talking about. Because I was praying and before I would even start, I saw them handing over to you something that looks like an appointment letter. Right? You believe me? You believe me? You will see it and you will stand before God's people to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. The Lord says, I should tell you, he's rolling away your reproach, madam. The reproach of many years is being rolled away in this season. That's what the Lord is saying, I should tell you. The reproach of many years is being rolled away. I'm seeing like a baller. That's what I'm seeing. A trash place where they pour dirt. And I'm seeing a new seed shooting out. And that's what is, that's, that's like a type of your destiny. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's rolling away the reproach from your life. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands and let's release miracle job. If you don't believe in it, put down your hand. I command you by the blood of Jesus, you foul spirit, you have oppressed this body. In the name of Jesus, I break your covenant, I break your ordinance. There is a strong spirit that has been oppressing this lady. It's not just her. Can you look at how many people holding one tiny lady? I curse you. Now, I curse you. I curse you by the God of heaven. And I curse you by my office. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that power. Let her go now. Right now. Release her destiny. Release her family now. By the blood of the eternal covenant. She's free. Go. Release her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. Listen, listen. People of God, don't think we are playing games here. I know you may see some of the things happening. These are the powers that have tied down men's life. It's not solved by counseling. You are just moving in the physical, yet in the realm of the spirit you are bound. We are not embarrassed. We are never embarrassed to set people free. Because that's what Jesus said. There's got to be a way of setting people free. Hallelujah. Father, jobs now. In the name that is above all names. I want you to receive it as a prophecy over your life. Lord, I declare. Everyone called jobless here. 
by the favor of God I terminate joblessness right now by the favor of God I terminate joblessness right now anyone who has applied for any job I compel them to call you Amen. I compel them to call your loved ones Amen. I compel them to favor you Amen. Hallelujah Do we have anyone here called Agnes? Agnes I'm hearing a name Agnes The Lord is ministering to me about one Agnes we begin to pray for the sick shortly. Agnes. I'm hearing the name Agnes. God is ministering to me. He wants to bring deliverance to the family of Agnes. Do we have anyone there? Agnes. Your name is Agnes. Your name too. The family member. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. We we'll begin to pray for the sick after this. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring breakthrough for this family. You showed me that you're visiting this family. Go ahead and confirm your word with signs following. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Whoever is Agnes in your family, let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus. I want to begin to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing a very serious situation here. There's someone here with a swollen leg. I don't know who that person is. Your leg, mysteriously, paining you, and it looks, it's, it's like swollen. This is what I see in the vision that the Lord is showing me. Who is that person? Your leg is swollen. Where is it? Which of the legs? Look what, look, if, if the devil, you remember I told you this, a body without the spirit, look what is happening to this girl. And then you just come and marry her because you think you want a wife. Are you seeing that? Is, is, if it can, look at one, two, three, four, five people holding one person imagine what it will do to someone's destiny i say this without a sense of cynicism many of the people that god is setting free attend churches every week look we need to restore the power of god in our churches and stop playing games with god because god's idea it's not just for one platform. Hallelujah. Swollen legs. No, no, no. Don't, you, don't, you don't have to. Madam. I see. You too. Your legs. For how long? What's the situation with her? Is her leg swollen? Okay, hold on. She can't walk. Baby, how are you? Hallelujah. Please help us with the mic. Who brought her? Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay. What's your name? Annie. Annie? Your name is Anne. Agnes. Alice. Your name is Alice. You can't walk. You can walk, but your leg is bent. Oh my goodness, look at such an innocent lady. Lord, have mercy on this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the Lord will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go back when I begin to pray for the sick and we let them come out. I'm just ministering to special cases. Leg, your leg. All of you who had a dream, in a dream, it's like something was shot. It's like, I don't know if it was an arrow. I'm seeing something that looks like a dream, and something was shot on your legs. If the person is not here, I'm seeing someone who had that dream. It's like, I don't know if it was like a gun or something. Or, an, uh, or a, 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 a sharp object. I know that it was, it's like it was shot to your leg. 
something beat me when I was sleeping. I just woke up and screamed. So blood was coming out of my legs. I'll pray for you, but this one I'm seeing, I just want to flow as the Holy Spirit is directing me. It's like, it, it looks like a gun or something sharp. Huh? I was shot in the realm of the spirit. In my dream. You were shot. Fired at you. Yes. And what happened to you? I only I prayed when I woke up. You From prayed when you woke up. The Lord is going to set you free. I know that I've talked to you once, but truly, truly, there is a spirit of delay and stagnation in your life. Because you love God, and God is going to use you in many ways. Not just in the area of the anointing, but even in the area of finances. But as it is, there are many things that are not moving in your life. Lift your hands, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, the reason why you redeem is so that we will be free. I pray that you set this gentleman free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Everything that was fired on your leg in Jesus' name, I curse it. Jesus' name. What's happening to you, madam? My leg is shaking. Your leg? Yes. What happened? It's just paining you or it's swollen? It's paining in me. It's for me to stand or to walk. Almost two years. It's broken for me. Almost two years. Which of the legs? This one. What can't you do? You can't stand straight. It's a problem for me, yes. Is it that it's shorter than another or what was the issue? It's not shorter than another. Okay. It's the same. It's you believe? Good. As I'm standing now, it's huh? Why is she here? She's your daughter. My father was shot in a dream by an arrow. It, according to my dad, it entered his thigh and came and out came through out. the other thigh. This is thigh. the person I'm talking about. Yes, and it, huh? it caused a physical wound on his thigh. Up to present, this guy Where is, is he? Here. Is he here? He's in Lagos, sir. He's in Lagos. Yes, sir. You believe God will touch him? Yes, sir. When I pray for you, call him and tell him yes, that he's been prayed for. Yes, huh? sir. Yes, because sir. this is witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Benway State. What's your name? My name is Kate. Kate. Yes, sir. From Benway State. Hold yes, my hands. Father, this is this family. You have revealed this in the name of Jesus. I cost this witchcraft. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Madam, you believe Jesus will heal you? Yes, I believe. You believe with all your heart? Yes. Madam, what's your situation? I have nail pains. Since I, yes, since I feel sick, they used to swell up. Since, you, I, since I was sick for six months, they used to swell up. But now, I can't walk, I can walk and be hearing sharp pain. Where? Where is the sharp pain? Okay, how about you? Five years. Where is which one is swollen? Oh, I see. You can't stand. I can't stand for long. For a long time. Mama, how about you? Two two months. Yes. What's happening? I have arthritis. You have arthritis. Yes. Who else? Who again? Leg problem. All of you, I'm going to pray for you too. Your legs are swollen. Oh, you are the one who said something beat you. Ah, you are a worker in this place. Let's challenge that devil. She's a worker in this house. There is an immunity. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that this will never return to her again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never return to her by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray for you. I want you to check yourselves after I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Sister, five years your leg has been swollen permanently like that. Have you gone to the hospital? What did they tell you? Nothing was wrong. Eh? Nothing was wrong. Nothing is wrong. Because when a thing is spiritual, no matter what happens in the physical, you may not be able to get an equivalent, um, a, a something to be able to treat. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we cause witchcraft. This is like, right? In the name of Jesus Christ. I command freedom, freedom for your legs. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of witchcraft. Mama, I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you right now. Every wicked spirit leaves you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on your chest. The Lord is bringing you deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus. This is witchcraft. For five years, I'm seeing a spirit. Go! Go! In the name of Jesus, you can't remain in her. The swollen legs, I command the swelling to go down in the name of Jesus Christ.
the name of Jesus, Mama, I pray for your leg. In Jesus' name. I pray for your leg. That's where the pain is. Just lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cause the pain by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please check yourselves. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. And tell me if there's any improvement. How many of us came here either for ourselves or for our loved ones to be healed? Specifically in the area of healing. Let me just see your hands. Inside and outside, can you just wave it to the Lord? How many of you came here to be healed? Okay, very quickly, while the worship team leads us in a powerful worship session, want all the sick people to make their way right now. Just, just guide all the people that are under the anointing. Just shift them. Don't drag them around. Please, let's do that very quickly. Make your way out and just stand in a straight line and trust God for a miracle. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. And it will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Look how many people are trusting God for healings and miracles. I sincerely pray with all my heart that every church and every assembly of God will permit the power of God to operate in their place. It is not a thing of pride to have so many, look at, literally, maybe hundreds of people right outside. There is a long queue and we'll have to minister to these people. It's not God's idea to have one superstar. It's just that many people, especially men of God, are unwilling to press into the dimensions that bring them to the possibilities we are going to do this very very fast all of you who are sitting make sure you are connected and um, you are participating while we are ministering to the sick I want you to pass your prayer request ushers you can walk around please make sure all those outside even those on the roadside make sure that we receive their prayer request because I will be laying hands on it immediately afterwards myself and Pastor Jax will be ministering to you Whatever your challenge is, I want you to believe God. While you're standing, lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I will not return back with this sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I stretch my hands over your people. Let your healing power deliver and save The Lord is healing someone of pile. I'm seeing someone that has suffered pile for a long time. The Lord is healing you right now. You may be in the healing line, but the Lord is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Please make your way. Make your way. It doesn't matter who lays hands on you. There is a corporate anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Please, as soon as we lay hands on you, just go this way very quickly. There are people right to the back outside so that we'll hurry up. And there are still other things we need to do. Praise God. matter what is wrong with you just a laying on of hands the anointing of the spirit is like a drug the moment it enters your body it begins to work and it brings you healing you will notice that some people are standing for healing but as soon as hands are laid on them devils are coming out because they are the causes of these infirmities Holy, 
Pass yours, please. Just do it quickly. Can we all rise? As many as can rise, please, inside and outside. It's a very prophetic moment right now. Jesus, Jesus, my heart will sing. My heart will sing. No other name. No other name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Those 
thousand, can we have it quickly? No other name, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. We just have five minutes to do this. Listen, I assure you, this is the place where God answers prayers. Hallelujah. I may not be able to minister to everyone individually, but I want you to know that this is a representation of your heart's desire. This is a representation of why you are here. And I'm going to lay my hands as, on as much as possible as a point of contact. All I want you to do is stretch your hands here and begin to receive answers to your prayer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stretch your hands. As I pray on this. Now God is greater. Our God is stronger. Just play the tune while we pray. Stretch your hands and receive. Shaka parata katabaladaba. Lord, we are praying. Please make sure you are praying outside. Stretch your hands towards the screen. Say, Lord, I receive it. I receive it. Lift your hands and stretch your hands here and pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. There be testimonies in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations into testimonies. Lord, we agree, we agree, we agree in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations to testimonies. Stretch your hands and keep receiving. I receive by faith. Come on, pray. All kinds of miracles by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. All kinds of miracles. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your glory. Even as these prayer points, Lord, are lifted up to you, Lord. As your people look up to you, Lord. They look up to you, Lord, from whence their help cometh from my Father. I ask you, Lord, that you send angels, Lord. You send answers, my Father. I pray that God doors that are yet to be opened, be opened. My Father, I pray for healings, Lord. Healings or terminal cases, Lord, let it be turned. Lord, where people said, there's no way, my Father, we pray that doors, Lord, you create streams in wilderness places. My Father, Lord, for people that cast away, my Father, Lord, you make them renowned by the power of your spirit. We ask for your hand to rest upon your people. Lord, we ask that, Lord, miracles, miracles, Lord, will be given to your people. Answers to prayers, Lord, prayer points that have been pending for many years. We ask that, God, doors be opened, Lord. Let miracles, Lord, flow into this house in the name of Jesus. Testimonies, we are bound in great ways, Lord, unprecedented miracles. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. We ask for healings. We ask that, Lord, 
people that are insane you cause them to be sane in the name of Jesus we pray for contract that long delayed Lord we pray that Lord will be awarded by the power of your spirit in the name of Jesus and we pray for a shield of protection over your saints Lord in the name of Jesus we ask for a revitalization of spiritual lives by the power of your spirit let the fire of God call come on cold altars in the name of Jesus let there be healings and touches in families in the blessed name of Jesus we give you praise we give you glory for the great and mighty things you will do amongst us Lord we give you praise blessed Father for we know all our prayers have been answered by the power of your spirit we thank you in the name of Jesus we pray hallelujah hallelujah if you believe that your request has been turned into a testimony i'd like you to shout a loud hallelujah shout a loud hallelujah a loud hallelujah a loud hallelujah 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 for many of you it will be like you are dreaming when you will watch one by one by one by one by one by one in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ it's by the anointing it's not by English burdens are destroyed because of the anointing hallelujah this last segment you've heard me say it again this is the most powerful and most impactful segment if you're not a man of the spirit you may not understand what I'm saying please help them this is the most powerful of this segment right now before we go into this where I begin to prophesy there are two dimensions to prophecy there is the revelatory dimension of prophecy that dimension of prophecy gives you direction but the stronger dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension that's when things that are not become by the power of the spoken word never joke with the power of prophecy that's the power that created the heavens and the earth he said i prophesied as i was commanded before we do that very quickly everyone inside and outside there are people here tonight who are saying man of god i want to commit my life to the lord i've seen the miracles i've seen the signs and wonders but my way is not right with the lord you know that right now as you're standing here if the trumpet sounds you're not making heaven you know it right now having a christian name is not the same as having a relationship with jesus there are some you've given your heart to the lord at one time please help those under the anointing i tell you there will be a powerful impartation right now i sense a heavy anointing on me already that's why i'm doing this very quickly now if you are here please don't delay us you are saying i want to return home for whatever reason you found yourself living the ways of god and you are saying lord i have heard your word and i'm not ashamed to make jesus my lord there are people in this auditorium young and old there are people by all the overflows right to the roadside no matter how far you are hearing my voice it should not be too far right now i'll just count one to five please run like you are running away from death run like there's fire on the mountain one inside and outside the devil is a liar tonight don't let any spirit stop you Tori. hallelujah hallelujah keep coming god bless you you have won it all for me hallelujah hallelujah you have won the victory sing hallelujah hallelujah Keep coming, keep coming. Please hurry up and catch up with us. So so deep, Hey, so so deep, Yeah, so so deep, We give you praise. So so one more time. Sasa Gibuchi. Oh, 
anybody here when you hear the voice of the Lord? I appreciate every one of you for coming out. This is the way to the cross. Listen, no matter what you achieve in life, if your eternal destiny is not secured, it says, this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. But he said, this life is in his son. Until you have the son, you do not have that life. Lift your right hand. Forget about who is looking at you. And in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart. You are not reciting a poem. It's not a special number. This is a decision. There's one of you here. You smoke all these kinds of things. It go and the rest. Huh? But as you pray this prayer, the power is broken over your life. Say after me, as loud as you can from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart and with everything within me. This night, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I repent of my sins. I declare that eternal life comes into my spirit. I am born again. I'm a child of God. From today, the power of sin, the power of the flesh is broken over me. My past is gone and it's over forever. I am a new creation in Christ. In the name of Jesus, the power of sin is broken over my life. In the name of Jesus, I receive of your life in Jesus name I pray now I stretch my hands over you and I declare the power of sin is broken over your life in the name of Jesus every yoke that has tied you down lets you go forever in the name of Jesus I declare that is a new season for you everything that is a habit and a challenge in your life I release you from it right now every covenant and ordinance of darkness that is the foundation of your trouble by the blood of Jesus it is wiped away I set you free I break you free from every wrong association that keeps you in sin in the name of Jesus Christ I pray hallelujah I want to congratulate all of you for making this decision this is the greatest decision you would ever make in your life hallelujah now very quickly so that you catch up with us in this prophetic session I want you to follow the gentlemen waving their hands they will have your details and then we'll follow you up very closely praise the lord just follow them koinonia celebrate them as they go all of you this way this way just follow the gentleman now everybody rise please i want you to receive this prophetic word this is the seventh month and the bible says revive thy work in the midst of the years hallelujah there is a mystery with the seventh month is the time where God perfects all things as I prophesy to you please I want you to know that there is an anointing that makes it happen hallelujah listen listen don't, don't mind all that nonsense one way to conquer Satan is to ignore him all of that rubbish uh, is, is the devil works in the realm of the senses by the time you focus all your attention on this drama and these things you will waste your time i know you are trying as ushers just stand around satan does not have authority i want you to know that there is an anointing manifestations are already signs that his power is broken but satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh so he begins to act around your mind to distract you when you ignore satan is one way of conquering him it does not have the capacity to continue all of this nonsense are you getting my point so this is teaching you so that tomorrow you don't end up wasting your time with all this rubbish and all this drama praise the lord lift your hands i prophesied as i was commanded you are Yahweh. you are seated on the throne 
you are Yahweh seated on the throne you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne father in the name of Jesus I'm praying right now by the ministry of angels are they not ministering spirits send to minister to they that be the heirs of salvation I pray for you every weakness in your life that weakness dies tonight in the name of Jesus every weakness in your life that weakness leaves you tonight in the name of Jesus hallelujah I prophesy to you that Red Sea you are standing before by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in this second half of the year an anointing comes upon you and I prophesy cross every Red Sea cross every Red Sea cross every Red Sea in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for every student here oh for there is a spirit in man and the inspiration make it men of understanding I'm praying for you some of you listen as I pray now some of you will literally feel like oil being poured upon your head it's an impartation of knowledge right now oh god i release an anointing to change the story of students at the count of three let it fall right now one two three take it take it take it take it now take it now that anointing receive it for exploits shaka -ta -ta -ta. inside and outside Take it for exploits, exploits, exploits. Hallelujah. Everything called stagnation in your life that has forced you to stay in one position while you should be moving right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of prophecy. I command stagnation to end now. 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 My goodness, something is happening to your destiny. Every night season in your life, every wilderness experience that has refused to break forth into the day i speak to you right now your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally hallelujah there is something called favor i don't know if you know it but there is something called favor when the favor of god is upon a man your looks your background your qualifications no longer matter let an anointing of favor right now I see at least 100 people 100 people like fire 100 people right now receive it receive it favor 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 upon your life favor haratata bakata shakata lakata bratakata favor 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 parekete embratata lakata i prophesy by an apostolic anointing favor 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 Every 
one holding anything that should be given to you for the next level i don't care where they are but i sound an alarm in the spirit that in this month we're entering called august may that be the month where you receive the keys of the next level receive the keys of the next level the mysteries of the next level every spiritual blindness shababa things happen around you you cannot see blood of spiritual vision i pray right now many of you will see like flashes of light as i'm praying right now you will see literally like flashes of light your eyes are opening right now right now right now right now right now by the power of the holy ghost blindness spiritual blindness spiritual blindness be free from it right now be free from it right now be free from it right now hallelujah there are many of us here dreams and visions are prophetic channels where we get insight and direction but for many of us our dreams and visions have either been corrupted or it's no longer there the bible says they will dream dreams it says they will see visions Shakataba, lift your hands there will be an, a restoration anointing right now i just want you to shout i receive listen many things will happen to you many of you is an activation of the realm of dreams and visions where god will start showing you the blueprint for the next level right now in the name of jesus at the count of three as you shout i receive let there be an impartation upon your dream life upon spiritual visions one two three now you receive it receive it restoration of fire fire dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams hallelujah he says what do you have in your house and she said nothing except a jar of oil i want to prophesy upon your gift it's one thing to be gifted but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed there are many of you the gift you have can bring bread to your table but nobody is seeing it it's one thing to be gifted it's one thing to be skilled but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed thou anointed my head with oil and it makes my cup to overflow i prophesy to you whatever has covered your gift whatever has made your gift barren right now in the name of jesus i anoint your gift now i anoint your skill now i anoint your gift now creativity creativity i release it i release that anointing creativity skill expertise competence proficiency in the name of jesus christ listen anybody who has said it's not your time to manifest that you always remain on the background you clap for others but you are not cursed it's god's desire that every man will also come to the lamb light i pray for you 
whatever has kept you behind right now in the name of Jesus I command let the light be on you let the light of glory be on you hallelujah everything you have tried by your strength to do and you have been unable to do throughout half of this year you have tried by your strength I'm releasing grace upon your life right now go back to that same thing and watch how God will bless you through it I pray for every ministry here from glory to glory every church represented from honor to honor new dimensions of the anointing in the name of Jesus Christ every business here is time to shine come on every business here I strengthen your hand arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine, arise and shine. lift your hands one last prayer listen I want to activate the gift of the spirit without the gift of the spirit upon your life your life will be barren and unfruitful it says for I long to see you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye be established I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the Lord himself something is about to happen to your life right now as I speak father I come under this apostolic anointing right now across the length and breadth in this auditorium and outside at the count of three let there be an activation of spiritual gifts one two three take it take it gift of healing word of knowledge gift of prophecy 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 I activate the prophetic I open your eyes spiritual gifts endowments of the spirit I declare that you are supernatural beginning from tonight in the name of Jesus everywhere you go you are supernatural let the anointing upon this house follow you like a shadow I prophesy to you every anointing that is upon this house from today let it follow you like a shadow whatever the anointing has brought to this house let it bring it to your life hallelujah lift your hands and give him praise father we give you all the praise I assure you you will know that this miracle service was unusual you will know many of you right from this night tomorrow will not reach you start having your testimonies right from this night right from this night favor alerts calls I mean connections mysterious happenings I speak to the spiritual borders of your destiny and in the name of Jesus I command that every gate that has been closed the Bible says your gate shall be continually open so you have a gate your gate shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles I pray for you in the name that is above all names let everything in your life start working for you I command the earth to work for you 
I command the wind to work for you. I command the stars to work for you. Everything that is a disappointment in your life, I change it tonight to a testimony. Hallelujah. If you're worshiping with us for the first time, keep standing, everybody. There are many people outside. Let me speak upon your life personally. Wherever you are, please make your way to the front quickly. We have one minute to do this. God bless you. This is your first time. You are most welcome. There is a prophecy for you. You must carry a signature. No, stand up. Keep standing. Everybody must know you came for Koinonia. Hallelujah. Listen, when you come here, we may not give you hampers, but we give you an identity. You will go back with it and everyone will know that you met the Christ. Make your way to the front. Koinonia, celebrate them. Glorious. Glorious. God brought them by his spirit. Is this the best you can do in appreciation to what the mighty God has done for us as a house?